so I'm thinking I might start at 1900 on this one. Uh, because in, in, in my experience, starting in 1890 has been pretty useless, <laughs> pretty pointless because there's, there's like no, no techs, nothing's going on. Um, nothing fires. You're just making, you're, you're just increasing dock sizes and building shitty pre-dreadnoughts that'll probably never get used. Um, so I feel like the 1890 start could use a little work because there's just nothing going on there. So I think we're going to go for a 1900 start on this one. Uh, and year 1970. I've also modded the game. Um, and because the, uh, the mods are all related to aircraft and the game takes a long time to play, uh, I did a whole bunch of mods and we're going to see if anything sticks. Um, in theory, I have gotten rid of land-based aircraft. Completely. In several different ways. But I don't know if any of them will work, which is why instead of doing one thing and checking to see if it worked, we're just going to do a bunch of things and see what happens. Uh, so, who do we want to play? So we did Spain, we did Japan. Japan was really fucked up, though. I'd love to try Japan again, maybe. No, that bitch will be interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I think the way that land-based aircraft in this game works is really fucking stupid. Um, so... What I did was I changed the year that land that the tech fires for land based that that allows you to build land based air bases land land air air, air bases fucking big um, to 1970 so theoretically it won't fire which means you'll never be able to build the first level um, air base which means you won't be able to um, change all the other ones uh, just in case that didn't work though. I also changed the number of planes that could be carried in the air bases to zero. And just in case both of those don't work, I also took off the runway. So, we'll see. <laughs> but this game is, is, is like assembled very peculiarly and there's a lot of inter interactions that aren't obvious when you're looking at the files. Uh, so we'll see if any of it works. I have, I have no idea if any of it will work. Uh, cause like, I didn't want to remove planes because I think carrier battles are cool and fun. It's the, it's the land-based air, uh, the aircraft that fuck everything up. So that's, that's what fucks everything up. So, uh, I'm approaching it. Um, we, we, we've got a, uh, a milking stool with three legs mod approach. We're going to see if any of them work. Uh... And I think we might just do, do Japan again because Japan is my favorite. I do wish that you had the... I, this is something I wish you could change, though. There's a lot of there's a lot of things in the game I really wish you could uh, 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 decide for yourself. Um, and I would love it if kamikaze attacks were something you could just toggle on and off rather than uh, if fascist and losing, then they'll be used. Because I don't think this... I don't think this has ever happened to me before in this game, where I was playing as Japan and went fascist and was losing a war. But yeah, whatever. <laughs> let's uh, let's do Japan again. I really like Japan. And of course, we're gonna go super large. Uh, I think we're not. I I my favorite way to play the game is with a super low research rate. But the research rate uh, is really wonky in 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 uh, Ruler Waves Three. It works fine. Turn, tuning this down for the most part in Rule of Ways 2, but in Rule of Ways 3, it fucks everything up. So I think we'll just use it and we'll put it at like 70. Didn't realize air bases are attack. I thought they unlocked the specific, st specific time range. There is one tech that unlocks the rest of them, but again, I don't know if what I've done will work. Like, um, do I have the files open still? No, I don't. Here, can we, um, files, browse. So, I think it was data. Oh, I don't remember what it was called. Um, research area three. And then find it was, uh, no, it was, uh, naval? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so it's this one right here. Land-based naval aircraft is a tech that allows you to build the first level of air bases. 
Enables uh, enables naval air bases. So all I did was change the date that this fires from 1915 to 1970, and that was that was the mod. <laughs> so we'll see we'll see if that works. Uh, so we'll go 70% uh, attack research rate just to tune it down a bit. Attack variation slate is fine. Um. I don't think this button works as it's supposed to, so I'm not going to touch it. Uh, and this doesn't work as it's supposed... Well, it doesn't work as it, it reads, so also not going to touch it. Uh, and I'm not going to manually build a legacy fleet because I love dealing with the AI stupid shit. <laughs> uh, okay, so we'll just delete this Spain because fuck it. Hey, Epic, how we doing? Okay, so we got about a few ships. That's good. Oh, and we start with destroyers because it's not 1890. Cool. <laughs> uh, Hashatate, 10-4-inch guns. Uh, Chishima, let's see, 10-4-inch guns. Unebi, 12-4-inch guns, so they really love their 4-inch guns. Nanawa. It's so two six-inch guns and six four-inch guns, so that's a little different. Zoomies, eight six-inch guns. That one's a little thicker, 5,000 tons. Uh, so we got a Tokiwa and a Sama, two nine-inch guns, 16 six. Holy shit. It's about a few. Four nine-inch guns, 14 seven-inch guns. Yeah. That, that, those are big boys. Holy shit. Those are huge. 13,000 ton heavy cruiser in 1900. My god. Uh, okay, and then we've also got some 15, so we got 12, 4 12 inch guns, 16, 6, uh, 4, 4, 14, 6 inch guns. The Fuji, 12, uh, 4 12 inch guns, 12 8 inch guns, and 12 5 inch guns. And, god damn it, fucking A, wing turrets. Uh, and then this one's a little bit smaller. 4 10 inch guns, 12 7 inch guns, 12 3 inch guns. And then we've got the Iki, which is again 12s and 6s. Kaizen, which is I don't think we have another one of those. Another one of the smaller cruisers. And then more destroyers. Okay, okay. And yeah, it's 1900, not 1890. I'm not going with 1890 because the 1890 start I don't think works correctly. Because in my experience so far in, in the 1890s, um, there's basically nothing happening. Uh, like, every everything is, like, like there's no money, there's no techs, uh, there's nothing going on, and unfortunately, there's just not a lot of reason to play the, that extra time. Because if, it, if there was a bunch of extra techs in there, that would be super cool, but there just isn't. So many cramped, <laughs> so many cramped destroyers, yeah. All right, uh, so build our docks. Uh, we are going to increase our research. I'm immediately going to put fire control up to high because there are, there's like double dipping on um, a chance to hit these days if you fall behind on fire control. Not only are you less likely to hit because you are farther behind in fire control, if they're ahead of you, and if your enemy is ahead of you in fire control, there's also a, ne a double negative in there. Like, not, not a double negative as in it equals a positive, but a negative and another negative because there's a difference in your fire control tech. So, uh, we're going to do that in, let's see, for, to balance things out, I think we'll go for... Who cares about tactics? No. Yeah. Um, uh, light, uh, we're gonna do light forces and torpedo warfare, because we're Japan. We're gonna put that high. And explosive shells, eh, fuck it. Who needs things to explode correctly? Alright, I think that's it for now. We'll just change those couple things. Uh, let's reserve the fleet. Save on money. Uh, fucking Russia's already pissy as fuck. Let's spy on the American. We'll put we'll go medium on a couple of these bad boys. See if we can steal some tech. 
and because we're running pretty low right now, I think we'll just we'll just process a little here now. We are basically good to go. A people in Albania already. Holy shit. Okay. Well, that's not my monkeys. Um, so I'm not going to touch that with somebody else's naval budget. The uh, steel industry wants a stronger navy. They want you to help convince the prime minister to increase expenditure. Well, I, of course, agree that a strong navy is important to having a strong navy. So let's see. We're at 149. 157. That was a pretty good... Uh, that was that was a pretty good thing. That was a pretty good bump. Who do we who are we playing with too? So we got uh, the Germans, the British, the French, the Russians, the Americans. Uh, oh, there's no China. We have Spain as a player. Wait, this is oh okay. I was like Spain has no colonies. It's because this is after the Americans beat the crap out of them. Um, but there's no China. So all the Chinese possessions are. I guess it's just like. The Warlord era has just progressed to the 1900s and just, it's just uh, like the white colonials and nobody. Nobody with a state flag. Interesting, interesting. It's very interesting for me. But I, I do have Formoso, that's interesting. Does Japan normally start with Formoso? Okay, whatever. Cool. Uh, let's build some fort. Well, here, let's let's see what do we have for. Uh, oh, <laughs> the sortable tabs. <laughs> That's so nice. That's so nice. You know, that was one of my complaints before. Is that a lot of these tabs weren't sortable. Now they're sortable. That's so nice. Coastal fortifications. We've got um, some in Japan and none anywhere else. Bot didn't do a ping. Well, the bot's a bitch. See, I wonder if the bot uh, is disconnected at the moment. Sometimes that happens. Ah, yes. The bot, the bot is uh, disconnected. Ha 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 ha! Success. Thank you for the heads up. So it should probably pop one out in a minute or two. Don't forget to assign ships to divisions. I always forget that. That's one of the things I always forget to do. <laughs> Once we have ships that are, that are uh, worthy. <laughs> okay, so let's go to up here. Build fortifications. We can go up to 10 inches, giggity. Um, but usually I just stick with like 6 inch coastal batteries for Sturt. So we'll put... Uh, coastal batteries are cheap as shit on maintenance, so... So that's new too. Go to fort uh, build list. We don't want to go to the fort build list. We want to just keep building. Uh, I already have some there, but I don't have any down here. So build a bunch of... Uh, now I could run in the negative for a little bit because those only take like six months to build. They did not say anything about fixing the tech stuff. US secured Shanghai territory as a concession from who? So the US is in town now. I don't know if I've played with the a with an AI Spain available. Now that I think about it, that's interesting. I would love to see an AI Spain do good. Oh, you know what would be cool in the future? If you could um, individually pick which like AI nations you want to buff. Like if you want Spain to be really good, like give it a tick and it gives it, I don't know, like 25% more um, like cash uh, to their to their national expenditure or something like that. Just so you could give like uh, a, a like a bonus to some to some nations, because I would love to see like fucking Spain go ham and take the Mediterranean or go and get all their uh, colonies back or something. All right, destroyers commission after a naval visit by Austria-Hungary, asked by a journalist to comment on their ships. Well, I don't care about you, and I want the prestige. Destroyers are popping off. There wasn't a lot under construction right now, so it's fine to just let that sit. You for, in, you for individual luck modifier nations? Uh, uh, yes, basically that's what I was thinking of. It'd be great if when you were starting and it showed you the list, you could just be like, tick, 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 and like give that modifier to nations. That'd be super cool. Uh, a revolution in Chinese province left some of our nationals stranded. Um, 
Well, we'll send a strong squadron. Pissed off all of the colonial powers, basically. Do, 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 do. Finished construction of our uh, six inch coastal batteries. Excellent. Those don't take too long. So you reserve those new destroyers. Cool. Why is the font so thin in this game? Yeah, I d don't ask me. Um, uh, a lot of things that have been requested um, on the forums and on Steam was uh, a UI scaling functionality. Um, but unfortunately, this is this is what we have to work with. What's even worse is like, uh, this is a this is not a 1920 by 1080 monitor. So normally my monitor looks like this. Just, just even, which is just so much worse. Oh my god. So, uh, oh god, and you know what? Hang on, hang on, hang on. I just noticed something. You guys, you're not even getting the full scope. Um, this is the display capture. There you go. <laughs> so on my monitor, this is what the game normally looks like. <laughs> But that's not really, that's not, like, 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 for me, just sitting at the monitor right here, it's not that bad. But, uh, yeah, no, for you guys, no, we gotta actually change the display settings. So that it's a little bit more readable. There we go. Wait. Boomer makes this game as a sixth. I, I, uh, yeah, I, I, I bet you anything, like, it's, it's one of those old... CRT like CRT monitors that's like beige and has been fading over the years so now it's kind of brown okay uh anyway we have money but I do want a couple more bases so I'm going to uh here and as much as I love uh six inch coastal batteries I think I need a little bit more uh so I think we'll put in I like usually like one biggin I'm gonna put a big in there, uh, build fortifications. I'm gonna put two big ins in Japan, and then I'm gonna put one big in down here. There we go. Cool. Couple big ins. Now, I have no idea how the mods I've put under this game are going to affect, th affect things, so things might get a little weird. And there's been upheaval in Bordeaux. The US is heading there. Um,. Their tension is low, so let's push for an international force to thwart them. And they've ignored it. Shocker. The Americans do what they want to do. All right, the American. Oh, Jesus Christ. The Americans are really moving into town, aren't they? And, the sorry, the mods I've made for this game are only local. I haven't uploaded them anywhere. Because I don't know if they work. So I'm not going to upload any mods before I know if they work. The one thing I know I can do is just get rid of planes. I've done that before. Uh, early coastal submarines, whatever. But there are other problems with getting rid of planes because the AI still wants uh, to build carriers. So if you get rid of all planes, then it's just got empty cargo ships basically floating around. Um, so I think, I, so far my best solution uh, to the, to, to the, the aircraft problem in this game is to like eliminate some planes. Download the improved sound effect mod. Oh, I I, I was actually just looking at the mods for Rule of the Waves 2 this morning, wondering if they work for 3 as well. They can remove planes. Yeah, I, I have tried your mod. But I haven't had enough time to play it to really um, make an assessment to see if that worked yet. All CV air tech. If the AI can't build CVs, what, what, uh, would that solve the problem? Probably not, because then it would most likely just stop building battleships. And then it would just not have battleships or carriers. There's a lot of things in the game that interact in weird ways. Um, 
so uh, that's why in in the issue with building mods in this game is you change one thing and you don't know if it's going to work and it's a long time you got to play for a long time to know if it worked uh, the new naval secretary d believes destroyers are the most important part of the navy. He wants you to build 13 more. Well, I don't need... I, I'm, I'm just gonna tell you to fuck off. Oh, I has gotta ruin my budget. Ugh. Okay. Well. I gotta have six destroyers going. And can I do 400 tons? No. Shiza. Wait. So they were built locally. Uh, well, in that case, build ship type destroyer. <laughs> I can just grab it off the list. I told them to build six of them. Okay. Uh, make sure everybody's reserved. All right, we're not insolvent. Upheaval in South Korea. Oh, I'm taking South Korea. That's my Korea. Send a force. <laughs> South Korea, my Korea. I'm gonna build a pair of 10 inchers there. There's my new docks. Uh, new ship built in Great Britain has given us valuable insights into British ship design technology. And she easily surpasses her... Dis After playing Spain, I'm just used to getting shit on constantly. <laughs> There's been a political murder in the Balkans. Uh, guilty party be brought to justice, obviously. Was it, was it Russia? That's Germany. <laughs> Budget? It, oh my god. <laughs> so, this was basically like my max budget as Spain in the 1930s. God damn it. The 18 I I think the 1890s start has it isn't working as intended. Um I think I I I don't necessarily think a couple uh, there there's a couple things interacting correctly because every time I've played that 1890s start everything just goes just just, just what I wouldn't even say the train derails it somehow just falls over. Like, a bunch of stuff in the 1890s start just does not work right. Alright, keep those docks building. Did I get... Did I build 3,500 tons of docks in one go? Because I was at 10,000 before. Uh, colonial crisis in the U.S. has arisen. And uh, tsunami! Well, welcome. I had one tick of private shipbuilding. The hell of a private shipbuilding. Um, safeguard our interests. So the U.S. is... I don't want to fight the U.S. And not a mummy! Uh, I will agree to... Cons I will trade tension and prestige for budget, yes. Well, there's the thicker destroyers. Like, Russia, I don't care. Germany, I don't care that much about because they have to come all the way the fuck over here. Nothing to worry about. We are building the required amount of destroyers. Yes. So how fast did those British built uh, bastards come out? Uh, it was these one. Okay, so this one came out a knot ahead. Noise. Um, open design. So she was rated for 17, came out at 18. So for a new player, 1890 started. Honestly, I would probably go with the 1900 start. Um, like I said, I don't think the 1890 start works right. And I think it, it throws a lot of things out of whack. So I'd go with the 1900 start until some more bug patches have come out. And we have, we have yeah, we have 10-inch guns available. Nothing at negative 2 quality either. Interesting. Interesting. You can uh, make a Yamato-esque battleship this game. Oh, yeah, you can. You absolutely can. Popular? Okay, that's fair. 
We are very early on in the game, and our yearly budget is very... We've had a lot of budget increases already. All right, there's my 10 injures. All over. Uh, the Prime Minister wants to hold an international naval gathering and sailing regatta and competition. Prestige up, tension down. Yes. Please, I don't want to go to war this early. And we need to spend our money. Uh, we've only got three armored cruisers and they're all over the place. They're all different classes. They're all different sizes. They're all different speeds. So maybe we try to design a armored cruiser. Uh, I'll start at 10,000 tons and work from there. Ooh, single 10-inch turrets. Is that legal? It is. Holy shit. Uh, yeah, fuck it. Why not? I don't see any reason not to. Um, and maybe not put her engine priority at speed, though. That sounds like it's asking for trouble. Uh, I'm going to take the deck extended off, up the deck armor to two. Um, increase the turret armor a bit so she can withstand a little bit of stuff. Uh, let's drop these sixes down to fives and load her up thickly. Yeah, <laughs> prickly pear. Okay. Uh, and what would it cost me to get to 22 knots? Not as bad as I expected, honestly. I can make that work. What does it mean by minus in quality? So, uh, most of the guns in the game have a quality that ranges from negative two to positive two. And it's just higher is better. Uh, and there are some caveats, like if you uh, build a ship that have negative two quality guns, those guns cannot be replaced later on without rebuilding the whole turret. Um, higher quality guns have um, do more damage, they're more accurate, I think they have longer ranges. Higher is better. Alrighty then. Um, that's all legal. Add on, can I give it a, a lot of can is it can I get another gun on there? No, that that's gonna that's asking a lot. That's asking a lot to put another one on there, so we will can you <laughs> I don't think it should be legal to sponsor a, a turret, uh, like a like an A turret. Uh alright, decrease that. Because we don't want to make it too big. I think we'll leave it at 12,000 tons. And then we'll give some more ammo over here. Boom! Okay, I kind of like her. Uh, and let's pick a name. Hard limitation in this game on how much displacement you can get on a destroyer compared to, like, a CA, CL or CA. Uh, like, can we make a Mega DD that dwarfs CLs? There are limitations on what you're allowed to do. Yes. Uh, destroyers in particular do have size restrictions. Now, as the game goes on, you are allowed to make fairly large destroyers uh, that are just fucking loaded with weaponry uh, that, that will, you know, really pack a punch, but they are limited in size. You can't make like a 40,000 ton destroyer. All right, save that. Save and finish. That's kind of cool. I like this guy. Five-inch belt doesn't stop much. Still get pounded by a battleship. Well, yeah, but a cruiser is not supposed to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a battleship. Uh, if you're going, to, if you're in a cruiser going toe-to-toe -to -toe with a battleship, you're you're wrong. <laughs> you're wrong. <laughs> um, Generally speaking, on, a, on an armored cruiser, you want enough armor. You're only really going to be able to put enough armor on there to protect you against armament from, like, a light cruiser, basically. Because their job is, is to, to, to fight light cruisers and, and scout, mostly. Um, 
So it's not like you're going to be... You, there, there's not... You, you can't effectively put an amount of armor onto a, a CA that will protect it against a pre-dreadnought. And if you're trying, you're making a really poor ship, frankly. Uh, a regional war seems imminent in Asia. I'm going to avoid stoking tension right now. Be okay, what the fuck? Oh, between Russia and Italy. Unless you're beady. Yeah, that was not an arm... Those were not armored cruisers. Those were battle cruisers, which were just battleships where you traded armor for engine space. They still had big fuck-off guns on them. Prime Minister floats an idea for a gunnery competition. Of course, that's fine. And the Asamo wins. Huzzah. I have a lot of money for this early in the game. It's actually bad because of how un how high the unrest is. Uh, all right, go to the build screen, and we need to spend this down. So I'm gonna build like four of these. Big gun equals good ship. Disagree. I I am very much of the opinion that that it is um a, a ship is good if it's doing its job adequately at the lowest possible cost so i know like especially if you spend time in their discord like if you go to hop over to discord and uh go to the rule of waves one I don't remember what room it's in, but there's a lot of people in here who just show off their designs and stuff. And most people's idea of a good ship is a battleship with 20 inches of armor with as many 18 inch guns on it as possible. And the thing is absolutely absurd. My methodology is I design ships to fill a role. If a ship is fulfilling a role and doing it efficiently, it's a good ship. <clears throat> that's that's my opinion so a ship doesn't need to have big guns it doesn't need to have a lot of guns doesn't need to have a lot of armor doesn't need to be super fast it needs to be good at what it's designed to do that's that's what sh that's what it needs that's that's what a ship is 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 good and is good at in my mind is if it's good at what it's designed to do like if um if i build a a light cruiser that's designed for raiding that's designed to go out and commerce raid. And then it gets into a gun duel with a, a light cruiser that's designed for sleep, fleet support and it gets ass kicked. Doesn't mean that it was a bad ship. It got it it got into a situation where it wasn't going to win. And if I put designed a ship that could do both, it would be exceedingly expensive, which meant I would be able to afford to put less of them in the field. And I I am a radical in terms of people who play this game, by the way. Uh, you know what I could do is I could I could spy the fuck out of the planet and try to steal from everyone. That'll I spy that'll spend some Yeah, there we go, that'll spend some money down. <laughs> there we go. Honestly, I gotta the, the, my budget is really high right now. <laughs> and it's causing a bunch of unrest. Although I wouldn't say no, hang on. So hear me out. We purposely crank the budget through the roof, let the unrest gather, and allow the country to fall to fascism because fascism allows higher naval budgets. A lot of gun, no guns, a lot of armor, ramming speed. Given that we have 1890 as a start date in this, I I feel like a a ram bow should be a thing you're allowed to put on a ship. Um, and I also think it should be easier to purposely try to ram people because that actually is pretty hard. It's pretty hard to purposely ram someone. Oh, they want me. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. Yeah, take it, take it. Yeah, whatever. Oh, I gotta name these. Uh, security uh, agreement between our nations. Ugh. Avoid entanglements. Broader engagement. So I no, I can't say. Okay, tension up, but only by a little bit. Uh, to make surgical midget submarines. No. 
No. Uh, I gotta name these cruisers, by the way. I gotta name four of these. One, two, three, four. Forgot to do that. Military coup by the Navy for more budget. Yes. Uh, honor? Uh, honor. Honor line. Honor line. And, oh god. Uh, Kem. Oh, hey, 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 it's a gold mine, damn it! Kem and Maldeolane. And Dennis Line. Pronouncing it different every time. And Semeline. All right, cool. We're good. Coordination review, there's been a collision between one of our ships and one... Oh, fuck the Russians. I'll fight them any day of the week. Uh, some enterprising young officers... In okay, 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 okay. So I'm going to put this out there. Every single time I've seen this event fire where you try to blow up an enemy ship at the start of the war... They always say it'll be a capital ship. In my experience, it's never been anything other than a Corvette or a destroyer. I have never once seen anything larger than that blow up. Also, if it's against Russia, I would have said yes. So no, we're not doing that. Ooh, heavy secondary batteries. Secondary guns heavier than eight inches in turrets. Cool. Or no, just big ass secondary guns. Uh, torpedo text. Nice, nice, nice. And there's a text firing right on time. I love it. A scandal involving dignitaries from Germany has occurred at a party given on a world cruise by one of our ships. Well, embarrass the Germans. Again, we want tensions high, which means budget high, which means unrest high, which means fascism. Or, I guess, communism? I, I guess as long as we... Wait, what are we right now? <laughs> Hang on, is there a way to see what my government is right now? I was like, wait, it's Japan in 1900. We're not a democracy. <laughs> uh... Okay, that gives you some information if you hover over the flag. Prime, Prime Minister. Oh, I, I am a limited democracy. Ew. Fine. Fine. <laughs> You're poor. All right. New docks completed. Let's see what that goes up. So I'm at 13.5. 14. So that just did 1,000 that time. Okay, keep it going. Come on, Russia, get into a fight with Italy, I dare you. What are they going to do in a fight with Italy? be an interesting battle. Uh, important dignitaries has been assassinated. Oh. Issue an ultimatum. Ha 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 ha! No surprise attacks. Okay. Well, mobilize the fleet. Because Russia does have things worth taking, and usually their uh, Pacific fleet is ass. Those change. We already went over the patch notes at the start of the stream, so you can scrub back, or you can just read them yourself on the forums. Uh, oh, shit. Uh, <laughs> Corvettes. Trade protection. Hiccups. Alright, um, yeah, that's fine. Uh, although, now the, now the budget's fucked. So let's pull these down. Save a little bit of money. Divisions. Ah, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, fuck. Uh, well, can I, uh, just out of curiosity, you know what would be great? If you could grab them on here. What are the odds of this being a thing? Right click and then put them in a division together. Ho, 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 ho. Oh, oh, I didn't actually think I'd be able to do that. That, that's, that's super awesome. But 
No divisions available for ship type B. Go to the division editor and create a division for that ship type. Not all ship types can be grouped into divisions. Oh, I have to make it first? So I have to go in here, new division for Bs. And then, and then will it let me? <laughs> okay, then you can, so you have to, fucking A, god damn it. Oh, I thought that, <laughs> I was this close to giving him a compliment. <laughs> Ah, oh, motherfucker. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Almost. Okay, so it threw an error going, you're not allowed to do that, and then went... Fuck you, I'm doing it anyway. <laughs> so which one's it? Fuso? It added in the Fuso, the Iki, the Fuji, and so every so it went from the bottom of the list up. That's I I I see me being dumb. Thought it would go from the top of the list down, but no no! Try to add too many. Yes, I know. My point is, is that it threw an error and said, you're not allowed to do this. Then went ahead and did it anyway. It should have said, this is not allowed, and then done nothing. That should have been how it works. Hey, that notification doesn't work anymore. Well, Mark, thanks for the doodly. Here has like, some biddies magnu yeet. What would have been a better situation would have been you're not allowed to do this. Nothing happens. Cuz then I could make I, I could uh, make a better assessment cuz what I would have uh, immediately wanted to do was do done 3 and 3 or 4 and 2 instead of 5 and left one out. But whatever, I'm an idiot. Um And I guess we do another one, a new, a new B, X division. And this one we do the ones that go 17 knots. You can stack as many as you want by moving ships from one division into another, but they not, might not appear in battle. It very specifically gave me an error that said I'm not allowed to do that, but I guess, is that, is that working as intended? I'll try it, hang on. Um, uh, division... So again, what would be good too is if you went here and then uh, assigned a division, there was another drop down that you could just select from there rather than opening up a screen. Okay, so if we go to the division editor and go into here, can I then, can I you know, assign commander and clear ships, dissolve, move the whole thing together? Um... So let's expand this out because I didn't know there was more guys there. Uh, so it was this one. The division assigned to this one. No, you can't do that. It, it throws an error. Unless it did it anyway. No, no, no. You No, it doesn't stack them up on there. All right. Well, uh, now, okay. Next quality of life thing. Is... Assign a commander. Okay, good. It does show me their, their, their information. You're above average. Okay, assign commander. You're average. There we go. Hey, Adam, how we doing? New introduction. Wait, what the fuck is new introduction? Never seen that notification before. On my screen, it shows... <laughs> Hang on. Hang on. Hang on, we're going to make this work. It shows a little note. It says new introduction right there. I've never seen that notification on Twitch before. Twitch doing things. You see that too? Oh, fuck. I thought that was just one of the me things. Well, now I'm even more confused. Well, yeah, it's like a little wavy guy. Okay, so assign that. 
Make flag... Oh, you can make your ship a flagship of the division. Okay, well, you're the thickest. So you're the flagship. So you're at the top of the list. And I guess, Yushima, you could be the flagship of this one. It said I could uh, introduce myself, but I chickened out and just said hello. I, I've never seen that notification before. That's funny. I wonder if that's a either a new Twitch thing or just something I've never seen. Because I was like, Adam, I've seen you for ages. That green avocado. Welcome. That's a new one, though. All right. So we got a couple guys in their things together. Um, do we want to maybe do some of the cruisers? This game does not have a dark mode, um, unfortunately. And even I would say even worse, but um, one thing you can do, and I would just, it used to be worse in the past too. Is you, this, this option, oh God, we're, we're in the preferences, there it is. In the, um, in the preferences, you can change like the background color. But it only changes this this screen right here. <laughs> uh, which I think is just funny. So, oh god, that's harder. Now, now I, oh god, what color did I have? I had it on a slightly lighter gray, right? And maybe, maybe a, a readier, readier red? That's the same red. Oh yeah, there we go. Yeah. So, yeah, there's been a lot of discussions over the years of streaming the, the three Rule the Waves games. Well, I guess just the two, because Rule the Waves 1 didn't have that functionality. About uh, what's the most readable, and um, uh, th this is generally what we've, we've settled on, is kind of a light gray and a red text makes it relatively readable. So what we have to work with i everybody wants a dark mode but i don't see that happening all right uh we're gonna do some more divisions though so let's take the 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 three okay let's make a couple uh go in the division editor new division and then we'll just make a couple cl divisions we'll make three and we'll make a heavy cruiser division two there we go let's put the three heavy cruise <laughs> Let's put the three heavy cruisers just together and do the cruiser division number one. Uh, let's take the Unebis. Well, let's see. These are... Oh, you, so, you, the Shishima's the only one that goes 23 knots, so these ones go 22. And these ones both go... Oh, but they probably have different caliber guns. These guys all got fours. Could you change the text color uh, back? I find it harder to read. Uh, I think this, w w like, wasn't this the same color? I didn't see it actually change on the preferences there. Oh, wait, I oh, know. I think I had it a little more maroony. I had a little bit more maroony. Yeah, but this is this, this this right here. This this is what happens: is you change one thing, and some people want it one way, and some people want it the other way, and nobody's ever happy. So this is where we've we've settled where it's the least the, the least complainy. Um okay, so let's put the Hashidates, because they only have four inch guns and twenty-two knots. Let's put them together into a division. Uh and then these guys have six inch guns. And that oh these guys okay, these guys can operate together because they all have six inch guns. Yellow Texas. No, we're not doing Oh, no, we're not doing yellow text and black background. That's hideous. It's hideous on the eyes. I've seen some people's UI with that on uh, on, on before, and it was um, a horror show. <laughs> oh. I actually find that way harder to read.
Oregon. Yeah, exactly. There you go. Oregon Trail. <clears throat> hmm. Uh, all right. And the three Unebis can go together too. And then we need to go to the division editor and make sure they all get a guy. Can I just work? No, I can't. Okay. Well, we, none of these guys have any other um, other traits revealed yet, so we could just assign. Incompetent. Okay. Above average. Wait. Oh, who doesn't have a thing already? There we go. Alrighty. We're good to go. What do, what do we got? One. We got one Hush. Oh, God. An early game coastal bombardment with one light cruiser with only four inch guns. Can you make battle carriers? Do you mean like the, um. Uh, the, the really horrible Japanese mid-war conversions after Midway where they took the back turrets off of a, a battleship and put on a flight deck? No. You can make carriers that are hilariously overgunned. Uh, that's actually a, a requirement, is to put on too many stupid guns onto a carrier early on in the game. But if you're trying to put big guns on the ship, no, you're not allowed to do that in a flight deck. Largest gun you can fit on a carrier? You can fit a couple, a couple, like, fairly large guns, but not in turrets on the center line. Let's see, is there actually... Somebody here. Well, he looks like a like, like slow. Convert. No, actually, no. You can. That's actually something the game probably should have is the ability to halt construction mid midway through a build and convert it to something else. But no, you cannot stop a construction midway through and convert it. All right. What do you got? Eight, oh my god, I'm ridiculously uh, outgunned here. And there's more than one of them. Okay, I'm hilariously outgunned there. I only have four inch guns, and they have six inch guns. So I'm gonna run away. Convert a BB into... You can convert a battleship into a carrier after it's been completed. And merchant aircraft carriers, no. I think you might be able to put a float plane on an armed merchant cruiser, though? I don't know if that's legal. I, it's been a while. I swear there was a carrier that had actual BB turret strapped to it. The Japanese converted some... Um, older battle cruisers i think it was to hybrids so they had a flight deck they basically took the back turrets off kept the front turrets and i think there were actually ships that had um center line um, like like q turret as well um so they kept like the four turrets the ones in the front half of the ship and then they, the back half of the ship was turned into a a flight deck but they never saw any action Yeah, uh, well, they had way more ships out there than I did. Oop, nope, nope, nope. There we go. We're just dominating the seas. Uh, let me let me sink some of your shit, you fuck. How many ships do they have out here? Oh, mine haven't finished working up yet. That's why. I was like, what do you mean? I got all... Uh, it's because, like, nobody's on active. All right, so we just got to wait a turn or two, and then we'll be fine. You guys <laughs> got that off real fast. What do we... We got something, though. Yeah, we got something. We got the Tokiwa, which is not... Oh, it's not the big boy. But we have one... Okay. Okay, we got one decent pre-dreadnought here. 
and some friendos. So we have to we have to sit, we have to uh, uh, focus down the transports. But the thing is, is that these battles are wonky because you don't have to just focus down the transports. You have to also get more victory points than them. So you can sink all the transports. But if you lose too many ships, they swim ashore. And chances are I'm going to be heavily outnumbered here. That's them. Yeah, that, that's got to be the transports right there. Because they're going super slow. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right, Tequila, you come back. Yeah, and you just go north. I got one pre-dreadnought here. I'm heavily outnumbered. And they, they, they spawn fairly close to the land, too. So, we gotta go this way. Yeah, we know where they are, though. That's good. So, one thing that AI is surprisingly good at is, is guarding the transports. Well, sometimes it cocks it up. But usually they're pretty good at um, staying close to the transports. Uh, how much time do we have? Uh, it's early afternoon, so some at best. We have six inch guns, 12 six inch guns, okay. All right, where are my light cruisers already? Um, you're on scout, oh, they've, they've misunderstood. Division Admiral rating minus two. Ooh, no. Uh, not ideal. The Lotnik. Oh, you're gonna get, you're gonna get shredded. If I actually get to fight you. So I'm trying to split my force so they have to decide which one they want to try to go after, kinda. And Death Skulls! Well, welcome. No hits yet because early game accuracy is ass balls. We love you. Sure, baby, I know it. And for the doodly as well. So they're definitely focusing down the pre-dreadnought, which makes sense. But they've also kind of pulled completely out of position now. And whoop, 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 whoop. You max, max speed. Uh, oh, I want to say there's no hits yet. Okay, that's a near miss. Uh, how, how does their Imperators look? Oh, not bad. Kind of schmexy, actually, for a pre-dreadnought. They've got all the wing turrets in a unified uh, battery in, in, in turrets. Not bad. All right, um, I'm gonna grab some of these destroyers. Some of you may die, but that is a sacrifice I am willing to make. Uh-oh. We got a we got a destroyer on me. Oh god, don't get torpedoed. Okay. Uh all right, I finally hit a destroyer. Alright, go go murder murder some guys in transports. Hydrate beer counts as hydration, right? Ooh, we finally landed a couple hits. Murder, Several murder, secondary murder. battery hits on murder, the murder, murder. Baryon. I mean, six-inch shells on a armored cruiser at fairly low range could do some damage. Your mother's a bitch. Your mother's a bitch. Beer, beer historically has counted as food and currency at times, so... Several transports are finally taking hits. Okay, all right, we, 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 we zoom around. I don't think we're gonna be able to get a hit here, but we'll sure as fuck try. Let go? Yes. Hey! <laughs> fuck you, Imperator. Uh, eat a bag of dicks, Nick. Oh, are those not centerline? No, they're centerline mounted. All 
I got one more on the back guy. Oh shit, almost hit myself with a torpedo. Oh fuck balls, god damn it! <laughs> okay, so I, I, I never can ram a ship if I'm trying. I've managed to do it a fair bit of times by accident though. Oh, and we managed to hit her with our last torpedo. I guess we threw it overboard. Uh, we've only hit, like, one of the... Oh, okay, now some of the other transports have taken damage. That's good. But that's great. Um, that's probably gonna be a sink on one of the Imperators and a... I'm gonna say at least heavily damaged on the other one. So, that's that's good for me. That that nets me some some good points to work with. Imperator took a hit from a 12-inch gun, too. I mean, for early game... <laughs> large caliber uh, 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 rifles, that's pretty good. Do I have torpedoes? I have torpedoes. Alright, the transports are starting to take some hits now. That's great. Uh, Tokiwa took some hits, though, which is less than great, but not a lot of damage. And obviously, if you want to make a pass at me, I'll put a torpedo right in your butthole. All right. This might be risky. So, right, okay. So if I fire it now, it's at low speed, which gives them more time to get away. If I pass another minute, I might not have a firing solution at all. So I think I'd rather take the... Oh, no, it's not. It's at high speed now. Okay, never mind. Wah! Oh, I think it was a dud. Either it done or it ran out, or like, as soon as it got to him. Get my engine room, but not too bad. Yeah, <laughs> I'm a little outnumbered here. Uh, we have done some damage to their transports, though, which is great. Okay, turn away from the destroyers. Uh, I have sunk one. <laughs> But several are damaged. The Tokiwa is pretty good still. Gates fouled, but that's not a big deal. Turn her around. The transports have scattered at this point. Which makes it a little harder to just run in there. We hit the the Vagyar, the Varyag a couple times. I'm going to try to get this guy right here. There we go. All right, you just took six six-inch hits, so you're not going home. I got to sink a couple of these. Oh, God. This ship is... Um, thank God that no one's got any accuracy right now. Okay, that one's already sinking, so they're not, they didn't fire on her. <laughs> I'm a little surrounded. I'm in danger. And we've taken some hits, but not bad, not at all. Almost no damage. I think it would probably be best for the Tokiwa to try to get out of here because she's taking some damage. She doesn't have a lot of speed left in her. Uh, but maybe we take, like, one of these guys and have him try to run down a couple of those guys. And can I have you focus fire on the guy right in front of your face? Yeah! Alright, Merchant took a bunch of hits. He's dead in the water and on fire. Because there's a couple of merchants over here that look like they'd be easy targets. All right. Now, because you're a little bit on the surrounded side, I'm going to try to head back towards land. Also, if you could get the fuck out of my face, fuck you. We managed to hit this guy with a 12-inch shell. That probably did some damage. How's my speed? 13 knots. That's not so hot. Uh, let's grab... Do you have torpedoes? We do. Let's try to see if we can have a destroyer come down here and help a little bit. 
Oh, another big hit there. Honestly, surprising that we managed to land nine 12 inch shells. Let's see, let's fire a torpedo. Probably still out of arc. Yeah. Alright, that transport is on fire but still moving, so let's go get her. Oh, sun's starting to go down. That's gonna help me because I'd like this ship to not die, and the sun the sun going down will definitely help that. Alright, she's dead in the water now, it looks like. I might need to turn. Oh god, oh god, oh god, I meant turn away. I, had, I clicked on the wrong division. Oh god, I feel like we're going real slow now. Oh, come on. You fuck. Quick ah! You've gotta have a solution there. Fuck you! Aim harder! <laughs> oh, she fired both. Oh, they died. Dead of the, they, they prematurely detonated or they just ran out of juice. Twenty percent of her main ammo remaining. All right, that that transport sank. All right, I definitely think it's time with the sun going down to head for home and hope that we've done enough damage that uh, we get a solid victory out of this. I'm gonna keep this guy out. How much damage did you take? <laughs> took a lot of damage, but we're, we're holding up. Ooh, 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 that's That's too much. I'm hoping to find another transport just laying around somewhere. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. What do we think this is? Transport or damaged pre-dreadnought? Whatever it is, I'm gonna try to put a torpedo into it. Oh, come on. You fucks. Looks like it was a transport. Maybe. All right, I think that was a transport. Yes, it was. All right, cool. All right, back to port. That's a solid victory, I think. I think we sank two pre-dreadnoughts and 50% of the transports. So I think that's gonna be enough to call it a victory. Have you ever seen the bug where two countries have a pro-country coup in the same province in the same turn? It's gonna come up with Norway and Iceland. No, I've not seen that one myself. Uh, does it? Does the game just die if that happens? Who gets it? Whatever notification fired first, maybe? Oh shit, we got someone down here. Also, way to, way to go on that gun placement, you shitheads. I don't know, may, maybe distribute them a little bit along the coastline. Whoever fires second. Oh, okay. It's just a lot of cooing. So I don't know if they've got enough transports left to complete the mission, but they should have enough points. I should have gotten enough points that it shouldn't matter. Because again, the invasions are still a little weird. You can sink all the transports and the invasion can still be successful. The transports can get there and you can still stop the invasion. Because of the way things work. All right. So they're, 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 they're just plying along the coastline now, I think. I doubt they've made it down here. No, none of, excuse me, none of these have opened fire. 
All the four inch batteries just sitting right there. Yeah, so now we just wait. What do we think? I, I, I think I got six transports and two pre-dreadnoughts, I'm gonna say. Maybe two destroyers. Damn it! It's past 1400. So we gotta keep waiting until they leave, I guess? Auto run the battle. There we go. Uh, so I lost two destroyers. Oh my god! One of their pre dreadnoughts took two torpedoes and did not sink. Wow. So I got one destroyer and eight transports. So still one. Um. God, I feel like early game torpedoes got a massive nerf from two to three. Because in, in Ruler Waves 2, a single torpedo almost always will sink a pre-dreadnought. Do you ever feel like early game you need to put two or three torpedoes at enemy cruiser or dreadnoughts, but your own ship sink with one torpedo hit? No. I've noticed that, yes, you need to torpedo the enemy a lot. I have not noticed that your ships go down with, like, one torpedo hit, though. Um, but this is something I've definitely noticed, is that torpedoes are very weak in Rule of Waves 3. Early, er, Rule of Waves 3, early game torpedoes. Late game, they get really strong. I won! 47 ships finished working up. Okay. So now, if we look here... Hey, who's blockading who now, bitch? Well, I guess technically you are blockading me for another month. But you know what I mean. Because now everybody... Almost everybody... Every, but almost everybody's worked up at this point. Cool. All right, fleet battle all up in their Russia. Oh yeah, we got career, so we're not that far away from them. What do we? Oh, we got a lot, ton of cruisers, ton of battleships. Both my battleship divisions, right? Because it was four and two. Good, good, love it. Good to see you together. Nine torpedoes of the ship, and the ship was uh, still made it to port and survived. Yeah. It, for, from my experience, it's mostly the, the early game torpedoes. And then after that, it's not so bad. But it's a, it's a big difference from Rule of the Waves 2, if that's what you're used to. Torpedo, early game torpedoes will absolutely fucking shred a pre-dreadnought in uh, Rule of the Waves 2. You guys shouldn't be operating alone, so let's move you back over this way. So, if we... I'm very... Oh, God. Some of these guys must have different calibers. I, I, I uh, grouped them on speed, but not necessarily caliber. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. So, the back two have 10-inch guns. Are you going full speed? Okay, full speed minus two. Good. So that's their scouting force of cruisers. There's their pre-dreadnoughts. Which they don't have that many of. In the grand scheme of things, it's a couple. It's a couple. I'd love it if this first war, we can actually grab some of these Russian Far East possessions. That'd be amazing. What are you guys doing? What are these guys doing? They're just fucking right off. Uh, the bold strategy you have there, Cotton. You guys head up this way. You guys keep going this way. We're probably not gonna hit anything at this range, and we're we're not in a good position to open fire. But. Maybe we can drive them into the to the shoreline and get them all bundled up. Yeah, I don't know what their, their cruisers were fucking thinking. All right. 
Uh, let's take our cruisers and come out this way. Go squad max. Ooh, they're turning. Okay. I do think that um, I liked uh, the er early game torpedoes and ruler waves too better. The fact that they were horrifically devastating to pre-dreadnoughts was accurate. <laughs> um, there's lots and lots and lots and lots of uh, tales from that time period, the pre-dreadnought time period of an underwater, of a single torpedo or a mine, single mine hit taking out capital ships. So things got a little, I don't know what, what the fuck happened over here. Stay on line ahead, don't turn together. But you're also slowed down. All right, get back over here. I'm gonna grab control over these destroyers and see if we can wreak a little uh, havoc here. Here, uh, why, why did it go to 12 knots? Both those, maybe I never sped them up. Maybe I forgot to. Because that would have been my bad. <laughs> oh, shit. All right. Uh, flotilla attack, if you if you got it, uh, or shoot it. Now, just out of curiosity, I want to look at some here. So hit chance. Uh, crew quality, as target aspect, fire control, tech level, ship turning. Target turning, uh, says smoke interference, final hit chance. Okay, so somebody was saying in chat that you got a bonus in accuracy for being in a division. I don't see a, a, uh, a modifier for that in here, but I wonder if it's just modifiers and existing modifier. Like maybe it knocks uh, like a 10 off of here. Maybe it adds a 10 onto there. Who knows? We've already got some good damage in. That's nice to see. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I mean, the hit ratio is pretty good there. Uh, my cruisers can come around back this way. You guys are trying to come into this. All right, and whoop, over this way. Eh, I, I mean, the accuracy is not half bad. We're getting a lot of hits in. Man, just out of curiosity, which do you think? Oh, I was like, do you think that guy will be able to fire a torpedo? No such luck. Let's maybe grab control over these two, put them in line ahead together. Uh, squad max and see if we can get in there. Get in there and do do some uh do some damage. Although that man, their their uh their small gun accuracy is good. I don't know who's what division you're a part of. Oh, you're Russian, not mine. Uh in battle division experience affects signaling the risk of ships losing contact, fire distribution, and spotting, and has a slight impact on ship crew quality for battle. So there is not a direct impact to accuracy. There's some tangential benefits, but not a direct accuracy improvement, it looks like. They're an option to make your carriers keep sending out automatic recon. Uh yeah, um it's this button right here. There's settings in there. Oh, shit balls! <laughs> Get fucked! Well, uh, that, that was a one hit kill right there. That was nice. And we are surprisingly landing a decent amount of hits. I mean, they're not all large caliber, but we're hitting them. 
Uh, these guys are really far behind. I don't know who's down here. I lost my cruiser. Oh, they're right there. That was awesome. Cap only seems to send out uh, recon once at the start of the battle. Yeah, you have to set it up. You, at this, before you, you do anything, you have to set up your cap and your air recon. Also, if the, sh if the planes blow up, they can't go out again. So if they get shot down, you're out of luck. Imperators taking hits. Well, I mean, we got, we're got we running out of ammo already, but we got one. Aw, oh, the sun's going down. Balls. All right. Well, these guys barely did anything. Let's just ask them to turn back. Uh, you have light damage and you have torpedoes. So, I'm just gonna... Or, 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 just, pardon me. No, don't wiggle waggle, you fuck! It's just gonna park right here and then we're gonna take this and we're gonna put this inside of you okay it did hit that looked like it went right through but it hit so only light damage registered fubuki what do you got on you you got some torpedoes because this guy probably is going to need another one. All right, you fired one. I'm going to fire the other. Get babooked! All right, she's eating multiple torpedoes now. She's still, still going at light damage at 15 knots. And the sun's about to go down. Uh, so I don't think we're going to get a chance to do any more damage to her. Without also risking getting torpedoed. But we put two torpedoes into her. Plus whatever hits we... Uh, 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 gun, gun shell bullet hits. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, where, what are you doing, friend? This is dangerous! Alright, we hit that one. Alright, 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 alright. This is fine. This is super dangerous. Alright, we hit that one a couple times. Uh, Iki. Maybe the next in line, too? Can you get a shot off now? Oh, she's dead in the water now! That's actually a good sign. That's a very good sign. Okay. Oh, okay. You were going back to help your friend. It was at that moment that they knew they fucked up. All right. Now, now that the, the goal is to get a couple more torpedoes into this guy, uh, without dying. I think I've got a... No, I don't have a torpedo on this side. I don't think the Fuso is going to have a shot. Alright, she's going real slow now. And honestly, she's getting eviscerated with gunfire at the moment. Given the fact that she's pretty much dead in the water, even a bad angle shot might hit. Two more. Okay, cool. All right, now we get the fuck out of here. Now we slow down to cruising speed and we get the fuck out of here. Fuji! Because that's, that's a for sure two kills. Oh, no! Fuji, get the fuck out of there! Can I can I detach Fuji and, uh, and, and operate her together? Because you, you, you are, you are in it at the moment. Oh, go this way! 
Fuck out of there. A lot of the light ships are just poking at each other now. Okay. Whew. A lot of things I noticed in Rule of Wave 3 is that friendly ships in uh, torpedo line of fire happens way less and is more sensible. I agree with that. Because uh, in, in Rule of Waves 2, that was, uh, in, in, that was oppressive. You could not get your ship... You, you could all oftentimes not fire if you had a ship within... A, I was going to say a country mile, but like... Like a country furlong. How long is a furlong? Is it more than a mile? <laughs> like you couldn't, you couldn't be anywhere near friendly ships. And they would be like, nah, not doing it. And I'm like, I'm your captain. I'm giving you an order, bitch. Just finish your club crackers, now you're sad. Well, there's more. We'll have to order you some American crackers. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. To manually control a bunch of these guys out of there because they're um, pretty, pretty uh, uh, he hesitant to leave the combat. There we go. Oh, shit. Yeah, just, get, just leave. Leave, leave, leave. They're following me. Like, I do not know what these guys... I don't have control over these guys either. I do not know what the fuck they're doing. As long as I can get the capital ships out. I mean, I'd love to not lose a lot of my light ships too. But yeah, they're pretty... They're pretty horny. And I, don't, I can't control these guys at all. Okay, now they're leaving. Good. Good. Like, if I found the AI waste. Oh, you tell them not to fire torpedoes. You can grab a division uh, and hit this button right here. And that, that'll tell them to hold their fire on torpedoes. So that they don't do that. Because, yes, I've noticed that too. I think that actually went really well. As long as nobody sinks on the way home. Oh, okay. We lost four destroyers. They lost three pre-dreadnoughts, four destroyers, and one transport. So, yeah, that went really well. So, you ate... Oh, my God. Okay, this, this ship took 11 heavy hits, 41 medium hits, 28 light hits, and four torpedoes. Yeah, she went down. That was a big boy, too. 16,000 tons. Uh, this one ate only one torpedo and a couple. So this is a, this one was a, a lucky hit for me, because it basically didn't take any damage on the surface. Oh, it was that one! <laughs> torpedo magazine hit. The ship blew up. Okay, so that was the that was basically the um, turret flash, and then this guy also got shredded. Five, forty-eight, thirty-one, and three. And the Fuji took eight heavy hits and seventeen medium. We made it back. Oh yeah, that was a that was a good one. The Frederick D does nothing for me. Lame. Uh, AP penetrator improvement for better penetration. Uh, we can build coastal subs. I have no no raiders out there right now. So that I should I'm about to say I should be in the lead now. Yeah. Do we have a good uh, assessment of what they have here? Five free dreadnoughts, three cruisers, eight light cruisers. Yeah, we put a fucking dent in that. Uh, they they are sending another fleet. They they are doing the the, the Russia thing. There's four more. Yeah. Uh, so it, it would behoove me to try to whittle this down a little bit before they get here. But that that put me way in the lead. So that was great. Fourteen destroyers unable to take place. We are we are re okay. The sun's going down pretty soon so this is probably going to be a turn away without uh enough time because like the the pre-dreadnoughts a lot of time the engagements can run all day so without a lot of time 
I think it behooves me to just turn around and not get into a night knife fight at night. Not with a. I don't have a lot of destroyers, so. Okay, squad max. Squad max. Yeah, just get the fuck out of there. No point in taking this one. I'm outnumbered. And the sun's going down. And there it goes. Star shells. Um... I mean, I, I, you could probably say it does. It's just rolled into, like, the night fighting equipment. Instead of having, like, a specific mechanic for using them, it's, it, I would, I would argue that it's just rolled into night fighting equipment. But it would be cool if there was a mechanic that you could see its use on the battlefield. That would be awesome. I think that's asking a lot from this game. I think that's really stretching what um, the, 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 the maybe not the game, but maybe the people who are making the game are willing to do. And these guys are a year off still, but I like these ships. I, this is a really weird design for for me. I normally don't do big gunned um, armored cruisers, but fuck it, it was a fun design, so I think it'll be good. Person, it's more than one guy. I think it's three now. Just found oil and grease. Olive oil. All right, now we're close to my bases, so I, I could be a little bit more aggressive. Also, I have my destroyers. I also have two cruisers. Line ahead, don't turn together. Squad max minus two. Uh, and no, it is not a battleship. I didn't think it was. So it's three armored cruisers, maybe? Yeah. They're big boys. That, not this one. That's only 6,000 tons. All right, you guys, don't get into a big gun engagement with armored cruisers. You'll lose. And you don't get torpedoed by destroyers. You'll lose. Oh, we fucked that guy up. <laughs> there we go. Torpedo slash gun. Okay. All right. Boomstick? What, which one's a boomstick? Because both of them could be a boomstick. Uh, it feels weird that it takes so long to research dual, uh, dual turret light cruisers. So, so you could put dual turrets on the A and the Y position fairly early on in the game um but yeah you're right you get you you'll have like a you could usually build cruisers with like five or more center line guns before you'll be able to double up the turrets and all of them all right now we're starting to trade hits so what about you guys what are your chances Ugh, nothing it's because it's a four-inch gun and we're not... Well, I guess we're kind of close. Crew quality is actually plus one. Tech level minus 30. So that changed. It was minus 20 last time I looked. Oh, oh, hey, oh, hey, oh, hey, oh, hey. You fuck. So I'm wondering if maybe... Ooh, I'm taking a lot of hits there now. Uh, I'm wondering if maybe they went up a attack somewhere. And I didn't. Actually, this guy just got fucked up pretty good. Six hits. Slowed her down by seven knots. Uh, I just took a smashing here. Eleven medium hits onto the, the superstructure. Tokiwa took eleven, but most of them were small. Yeah, okay, I'm getting, um, uh, smashed in accuracy here. So, I think, I think, yeah, I think we're, we we get the fuck out, because after that pass, we did not do well.
I think I might need to grab a destroyer and make a run just to get him to uh, break off. Because otherwise, we're going to run into some trouble. Uh, oh, I actually fired one of my torpedoes. Uh, this this guy right there, fire torpedo. And then get the fuck out of there. Oh, balls. Yeah, our accuracy is nothing. Um, compared to theirs right now, I'm they're they're la I have not hit with this ship yet. Uh, the secondary guns landed eight, and the tertiary three. Here it's two, eight, and five. I mean, they've hit us a lot. Well, it seems like they got better accuracy than I do. Uh, please be the big gun battery I built. That looks like a big boy. This is a big boy. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Try to get in under the guns here to help us out. All right, I need another destroyer run. Oh, this is only one destroyer, so I don't need to set them up into a uh, formation. Yeah, it's, it always sucks with, like, the first couple uh, of rounds of the battle. It's just like, well, you got fucked in accuracy. Get Get screwed. Like, okay, I guess I'll run away because now I'm I'm heavily damaged. Here we go. This is gonna be good or not. Oh, I was, I was actually trying to ram him. <laughs> hey, I hit him twice. Okay, I'm gonna call that one because I only fired one torpedo. That was the big one. That was the 13,000 ton one. Okay, okay. Everybody turn towards port now. Let's get the fuck out of here. All right. That definitely put a cramp in their dongle. They're waiting for night, then pouncing with torpedo destroyers. Yeah, that happens a lot. All right. We're putting another one into her. Ew. Okay. I'm going to call that a victory. Uh, the 10-inch Coastal Battery is firing now. They haven't hit anything, but I didn't expect them to do because Coastal Batteries can't hit the broadside. Do they have like a... Uh, tech... For tech is minus 50. How are the, how are the land-based ones minus 50 and my boats were minus 30 and last turn they were minus 20? What in the fuck? What is the fuck even? Okay, color me confused. Maybe they may, maybe they um stick with the tech of the date they were built or maybe they just intrinsically get a a negative there to reduce their accuracy because they do have terrible accuracy. Might I, uh, uh, maybe it has something to do with plane stuff? No. Definitely not. Uh, uh, coastal batteries have always had shit accuracy. Like, surprisingly shit accuracy. It's fine. Alright, I'm gonna call that a victory. We got one of their heavy crew- one of their big heavy cruisers. I'm gonna say I'm gonna get a thousand victory points. And a destroyer too. Yeah, I netted 1100. Uh, rebellion broke out in the French possession of Anam, okay. Russian raider sank some merchants, that's okay, not a big deal. Uh, they are, I'm still ahead of them and they are one turn away from being able to blockade me again. So I do need to try to get some tonnage out. Hmm. Still winning though. That's good. All right, what's next? Enemy raid on coastal shipping. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. What? Raining. A uh, couple cruisers. I had to take a quick bio break though, guys. So I'll be right back. I'm a little nervous that when the uh, when the Huzits show up, when um, the the second Russian fleet shows up, that I'm gonna be so outnumbered. 
It's going to get a little hairy. But right now, the, uh, the, the, the name of the game is to not lose any ships. Also, it, it's a strong breeze and a drizzle right now. So, our, again, our accuracy is going to be pretty bad. Eh. Not as bad as I thought it would be. 1.19%. Honestly, it might be worth it to do another torpedo run right off the bat and just try to take a heavy cruiser out. Now, the... Varyags are the Sme... No, those are the big ones. Okay, okay. They got three big ones here. I did not think those were the Lorge boys. So, Squad Max, turn. Oh, they turned right away. Although, that one's out of position now. Where are my bases? Okay, we're at our base, basically. So, let's grab this group. Line ahead, turn together off. Squad Max... And see if we can't... Oh, shit. What is that? No. that's That's got to be misidentified. That absolutely has to be misidentified. There's no way that's an Imperator here, right? Uh, I don't know. They haven't changed their mind yet, so maybe it is. Okay, let's... You guys go forward. Let's grab this group of destroyers. Again, line ahead, turn it together off, squad max. Only 25, okay. Crank that up to your actual max and leave everybody behind. Yeah, now they're re-identifying it as a cruiser. Oh, shit, we just lost a turret. We actually landed the first few hits, and then immediately one of our turrets blew up. So our accuracy was better this battle. Okay, the light cruisers don't have much to do here, so you guys can go back to port. Right, let's turn around. Yep, and I want the destroyers to keep driving them away. Let's see if we can't get a kill in here. I'm gonna try- I'm trying to- Ah, oh, goddamn, I was trying to ram him. I'm wondering if we could try to get that one. Yeah, the shit weather is making it hard to identify any, any enemy ships. And maybe the Minikaze could fire at the unidentified one, but no. And that one's not going to be in a position to be able to do that. Oh, are you? <laughs> oh, I didn't think any. There, I didn't think there was a chance you'd have a, uh, the range on that. All right, so to leave that one, that one just ate two torpedoes, maybe. I really want this 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 lead ship here. Oh, more more than one ship fired their torpedoes, so that was probably legit. Ah, <laughs> ah, okay, just go back to port. Call it a victory and just go back to port. Let's try to avoid taking any losses if we can. Um Sh Shiza! What's the issue? What what what's what's the hold up, guys? Is, it, is that, uh, that's a six inch battery. No hits yet. Um. Okay, I cannot get inside Pusan, apparently. So, bye 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 bye. Oh! Wait, they made it in that time. I don't, I don't know what happened. But I was having trouble initially getting inside. Alright, is this a six inch? All right, so there's just some coastal batteries out there now. 27 hits scored. Whoa, they are. This guy is shredding. Or not anymore. No, no, no you, you were. Maybe they. Get, maybe a couple guys got in really close under the guns. But I don't think I've ever. That's a lot of fucking hits for a coastal battery. Yeah. Now. Now nothing. 28. But those are all ships that are perfectly capable of taking damage from a 6-inch shell, so. Let's see him tracking. Big coastal. I've got I've got some some I would say small medium and large medium is uh, the coastal guns I have available. The issue is is you don't place coastal guns. 
Wow, what the fuck was it that accuracy? It was they got a lot of hits really early and then none after that. So I'm thinking some they uh, they got a bunch all at once when some people were close together. Yeah, um, you don't place coastal guns yourself, so you have no idea if they're going to spawn into a battle in a useful position. And they don't get like evenly distributed throughout the coastline, which again makes it uh, uh, problematic. Like them being useful at all is. What, these guys have torpedoes? I can't fire them myself, obviously, but that's still pretty fucking cool. Um, so they're sporadically useful, but they're also really cheap. Can they, they, no, they won't spawn far inland. They're, they're, this guy's having a fucking... Well, a hell of a duel. Two of those damaged guns are back in action now. Still, only two more hits in the last 300 rounds. It's a little damaged. Jesus Christ, they're having a field day with this battery here. I mean, it's done some damage. I don't know how much damage it's done, but it's done some damage. Oh, it's not, uh, you know what? Probably was one of the issues too, is they ran out of AP ammo. So any of the, uh, the, the later hits were probably doing not much. Well, there's a lot of destroyers and light cruisers that could have taken significant damage from a high explosive shell. Well, 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 if there's a lot of extraneous damage that I don't know where it came from, it was that port. For certain. Oop, I got a Theo hair on my nose. And boom goes the dynamite. Uh, wow. Both those cruisers got away with, like, no damage. Unless maybe... Maybe one of those was a light cruiser we hit. Hang on, let's see. One torpedo hit. Yeah, so one of those crew, one of those uh, attacks was misidentified, and then this one only took one hit. So I got less torpedo hits than I thought. Although this guy took 42 hits. Was it the coastal battery? A lot of six-inch hits, so yeah, probably the coastal battery. Yeah. Six-inch hits at fairly close range. Me. No, I won. I got more victory points than they did. Enemy major victory. Oh, come on. I got more victory points than they did. They, they completed their mission, which was to sink a couple ships, and they got a couple Corvettes there. Uh, there's without... No, 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 no. Ooh, double bottoms. I keep this going for a while. Oh, these are my favorites. Because there's always some... It's a, there's always some fish in the barrel to shoot. Oh, balls! Well, now it's going to be a little bit more disastrous. It is 10.30. And it's a night battle, which means we're basically going to spawn in a very intimate uh, uh, position. Okay, all right, all right, all right. So, first things first, ask any destroyers to go right into it. Immediately grab control over this guy and ask him to turn away. Pivot! <laughs> Immediately grab these destroyers, squad max, and send them up this way. Fine. So this guy took some hits. Diana. Wow, that's a big boy. 7,500 tons. Woo! 12 six-inch guns. This guy, unfortunately, didn't take a lot of hits, but it looked like it was an engine room hit. Yeah, the first one was right into the engine room. So that is this one. And I 
I don't think at this point we'll be able to get a torpedo off thought of arc. I mean, I can grab some more destroyers and try to get that big, thick boy. But I don't think it'll fly. Unless she turns around again. Which she did not. Okay. It's gotta be... There, there's a lot... Oh my god! <laughs> Hi! 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 I don't know what I just fell onto, but okay, that's a destroyer. Whoop! 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 whoop. I don't know what I'm next to, but it looked slow, so. Okay, these guys, uh, squad max minus two, and pivot off to the side a little. I think the transports are about here right now. Put you on AI control. Squad max minus two. Or destroyers. Mostly because they're like retreating up this way. So I'm thinking it's going to be to protect their friendos. Sun's not going to be up for... Uh, oh, oh god, I found the battle line, I think. Because those guys look ponderous and chunky. Come here, you fucks. Alright, there's a lot of them here. Kind of a really bad angle, but. Might as well give it a shot. Lob some dongles out here and see what happens. Well, uh, we got a hit. That B is not gonna take a hit. You might. All right. So that that um that CA whatever it is took a good hit. Oh. Oh, uh, we got a ram. By accident. All right. Um, I don't remember. Okay, that was some destroyers back to AI. Uh, destroyers back to the AI. So, oh, this is the the my my cruiser. Back up this way. You go back to the AI. I don't know what you are, but you look thick. All right, she got, okay, we're gonna be able to get both her torpedoes off. Into the tri Are these big boys? You look fairly chonky, 12,000 tons. Eat it! All right, I lost a couple destroyers there, but I also took out some heavy ships, so. That's a good thing. All right, turn back around. Turn back around. We have no idea where they. We have not spotted them yet. The transports, that is. I've seen the scouts, and I've seen their battle line, but I have not seen the transports yet. And it's not even midnight yet, so there's lots of time still. A couple destroyers sank, but I lost a couple destroyers to. Potentially two capital ships? At least damage two capital ships? You guys know how I feel about destroyer crews. If 
When I said the battle started at 10.30, it did not start at 10.30. Like, this is a situation of, do we use the torpedoes early to guarantee ourselves a kill? I'm thinking with that one, yes. They're still floating. I think it's I think it's fair to do a coup de gras and then just retire the the uh, destroyers that don't have any torpedoes left. So we know they're heading this way. So at least we do that. I think they're all right about in here. The sun is so far away. <laughs> no ship sighted. Okay, we uh, the Tokiwa spotted a couple. Oh, these are slow as fuck. That actually does look like the transports. I'm immediately going to grab these uh, light cruisers and just dive them straight into this. Oh god, that was the Oh god! Oh shit! Oh, we almost torpedoed my own heavy cruiser. So we got a couple of them. We stumbled upon a couple of them. That was not all of them though. So that was, I think, four transports and a destroyer. And another destroyer down. That was that was good though. Cause that was absolutely a bunch of the transports we just took down. Tukiwa saw someone else. All right, it looks like they may have started going south more. Yep. So we need to turn south more. So maybe I I I, I may have. I assumed that was the head of the form, the van of the formation. That may have been the ass of the formation. Oh, 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 ow, 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 ow. Those are, those are pre-dreadnoughts. And Matthew, welcome, welcome. All right, uh, Tokiwa, uh, how much damage did you take there? A little bit. Uh, I still got three torpedoes on these two ships. And those are big, these are big boys down here, so. Yeah, yeah, get right in, get right up inside of them. Yeah, aw, oh, Fabuki. She also took a wonky turn when she blew up, so I don't think we're gonna be. A hey, hey, no, no, we'll still get one off. Oh, it dudded. Try this again. What? Okay, that was a hit. I don't know if this second one will have a a, a shot. Uh, what? Who? I guess trying to shoot maybe this one. I don't think that'll be a hit, but I'd rather get the torpedo off and see what happens. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Whoop, 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 whoop. All right, all right, pivot. So one of these took two, two of their pre-dreadnoughts just took hits. I don't know which ones they were. Uh, honestly, that light cruiser just had a 
uh, on, on fucking Great Volley, five four-inch shells. I mean, a four-inch shell against a pre-dreadnought isn't going to do a lot of damage, but it will still fuck up the superstructure. I mean, especially when you're doing that many hits. And then Yoshima, you're going to fire a torpedo. That was a hit. You're going to fire your second torpedo. And then turn away. Also a hit. <laughs> Woo! So those torpedo uh, torpedoes, the destroyers have, can they be reloaded? No, but later on in the game, you do have the option to carry torpedo reloads for your um, destroyers. That six hits off five shots? Yes. That is something that is known to happen in this game. Uh, you can land more hits than you fire. And I'm not sure what causes it. It might be because there is an amount of um, ambiguity, especially at night in the battles, where you, the reports you get won't always be accurate. So it can be crews reporting um, more hits than were fired, or it could be because the rate of fire on the particular gun is higher than the increment of time that has passed, so more shots were actually fired. Like, a lot of times, um, larger caliber shell hits can be misidentified as torpedo hits, um, or near misses from large shells will be misidentified as torpedo hits, that is. All right, and I'm gonna put another one into her for good luck. And then turn away. And then have the pre-dreadnoughts head back down this way. Uh, there's also we got some we got some funk chuckle fuckery going on down here. Oh god, oh god, oh god, this is fine. That was a miss. Oh, 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 shit. Okay, okay, okay. So the Yakuza just fired two tour, just, just, just double tapped and then turned, did a 180 degree turn into the path of the torpedoes to attempt to ram the torpedoes in back. I'm, I'm doing headcanon here. The torpedoes impacted that pre dreadnought, blew her in half. And then the Yakuza went between the wreckage of the two sinking halves. Wow. That's, that's my head cannon of how that went down. You can't tell me that's not how it happened. Uh, still got, it's only 1.30 in the morning still. Well, I feel like I'm gonna I'm gonna need to build some new destroyers because I am really getting them uh, schlacked here. But frankly, I'm trading destroyers for dreadnoughts or pre-dreadnoughts. That is. So, at the end of the day, I think it's a fair it's a fair dongle. Oh, I'm only going 14 knots on this bad boy now. What about you? Uh, you get out of there. Can't fire your torpedoes. We've done a hell of a job on the battle, frankly. It, it, it might be viable to just send a lot of these guys home at this point and declare victory. Uh, I sank four transports and haven't found any more yet. Lost a lot of destroyers, but that's okay. When you're trading them for big ships, that's perfectly fine. Uh, that did not look like a big ship to me. It was maneuvering to 
Uh, it's a Corvette. But is it a big Corvette at least? 1,500 tons. Ooh. What is this? It's maybe the rest of the transports that may have made it. Yeah, that looks like that. Oh my god! Oh my god, what did I find? Oh, Jesus Christ! Oh, crap on a cracker! I don't know what I just shot, but I shot somebody! Get the fuck out of there! Whatever I shot, it died and it went dead in the water, so... Uh, you guys, get in line. Oh god, what are they doing? Oh no, what are they doing? <laughs> You're turning the wrong way! Oh god. Oh no. <laughs> Stop pooping your face into the doodle! Okay, thank god. Oh, Jesus Christ. I, I thought they were just gonna bonk, bonk, <laughs> bonk along the coastline there. <laughs> so that, oh, so I hit a, that was not their transports? Interesting. I did, it does look like I popped a torpedo into a light cruiser though. Uh, there is a battery of... That might be out of range, honestly. Those are four-inch guns. Yeah, those are probably out of range. That destroyer's dead in the water. These guys are actually taking some good hits. Uh, is anybody else spotted? No. These are... My other pre-dreadnoughts. Send them back down. I've seen a couple 10 inch hits. And a 12. Uh, I really thought that was going to be. Oh, yeah, there they are. So they did technically get the transport, uh, enough transports for a victory, which is unfortunate. Uh, but the way it works is if I get more uh, victory points than they do, I still win the battle. <laughs> So I can still go down there and kill them for some quick points. And I have sunk, I, I I think I've sunk three capital ships. Plus some, plus some lights and things. And I've lost just a hand, a smattering of destroyers. Wait, did the, is the coast, the coastal, ba okay. So this coastal battery has been firing at stationary targets and missing. They're firing at these transports who are not moving. I just took a 12 inch hit. So they still got, I count five pre-dreadnoughts there it looks like. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I haven't seen this one before. Eh, it's pretty, pretty average though. I feel like we are definitely... Here, let, let's check. Okay, so almost no damage. Almost no damage. Almost no damage. I felt like I had taken a lot more damage, but... Uh, okay, so the Sagami took a little bit. And that's basically it. And... The more enemy ships we can lure away from their little friendos there, the better. Sagami's taking a couple more, but again... Oh, she's got a rudder jammed now. That's bad. Uh, it's not the worst rudder jammed situation I've ever seen, but it's obviously not ideal. Because she's going right into a big formation of enemy ships with torpedoes. So this is my other pre-dreadnoughts. That's 
An enemy, heavily damaged enemy destroyer. Uh, send these guys back down here. Oh, and they're getting real, she's getting real close. To torpedo range. And taking a lot of hits. Oh, that's bad. Looks like the secondary guns are doing a good job fucking up the destroyers, though. Hey, Richie, how you doing? Uh, taking a lot of hits, still, still jammed. Starting to run out of ammo. Uh, one of their, um, uh, fairly large light cruisers just went dead in the water. Still jammed center. Oh. Oh, there. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, no. She's just detached. I can't. I can't control her. She just detached. Well, there she goes. Okay. Whew. Okay, you just turn away. You guys turn back now. 50% ammo remaining on a lot of these ships. I was actually pretty lucky we didn't, we didn't lose the Sagami there from that because she was going straight into a bunch of enemy destroyers and light cruisers. Vladimir just took a couple hits. I can't complain about the accuracy during this battle. It's been decent. Does somebody, I was going to say, does somebody want to torpedo her on the way past? But I don't know if that's uh, worth risking getting closer. Vladimir is slowing down to five knots. Are we out of ammo on the secondary guns or something? Because you're not firing very much. 700 rounds and 11 hits. My god. 600. Ugh. I say I, I shouldn't complain about the accuracy because it hasn't been that bad. It hasn't been not great. Right now we definitely turn away. Okay, 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 this is fine, this is fine, it's fine, everything's fine. I still would like to sink those transports before leaving, but I, I feel like we've got a partial solid victory. A solid partial victory. Okay, they see me coming in from the other side now. They're doing a torpedo run. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 12 inches right to the face. Oh, that, that destroyer just ate it. Oh, that was a good fucking shot. <laughs> Woo! That was a good one. All right, do you think we try a, a, a head-on torpedo run? I'm thinking that's what we do here. Have everybody launch a, a volley of torpedoes at the incoming ships. And then pivot off. <laughs> oh, the second that, that one running deep oh, it sucked though. I thought I thought we actually had to hit both of them. Alright, let's ask these guys to fire on the transports if I can find them. Yep, right there. Yep, hitting the transports. It's free victory points, basically, for taking them out. Let's see, I think we only hit this one, though. Oh, oh we hit... Oh, we, 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 we spread that out. Alright, you guys chase down those two, because one of those is damaged now. And you guys get into a, a, a gunfight here with these cruisers. Okay, that one's down. Medium damage, 10 knots. Ooh, that was a good torpedo hit. I did not think that would hit. I thought that would be a, a big if. Oh, this has been a great battle. All right, two more of the transports are down. 
These guys are just getting gunned up. Oh, they took a lot of hits. When will the Yamato? Uh, a long time. A long, it is 1903. So we still got a little time before we get yamato -y. We've got, we got to get through a lot of classes of smaller ships first. But we'll get there eventually. Right now, we're still in pre-dreadnoughts. This ship is only going seven knots. Okay, you took an engine room hit. These guys are not going very fast anymore. Uh, trying to get these guys out now. All right. Pivot, 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 pivot. All right, that one's dead in the water now, so let's do a double tap. Her engines just died. <laughs> nice. All right, you get the fuck out of there. Uh, okay, this has been a pretty... This has been like a Tsushima level of disaster for... Well, no, not... They didn't lose the whole fleet. I can't, I can't call it a Tsushima level disaster because there are still ships that haven't died, but it's been, it's been pretty disastrous for the Ruskies. Sarovich, this one has not been torpedoed yet and has still got damage. Yeah, I, th I think now is the time we, we call it a victory. We just start retiring everybody. <laughs> I'm running out of ammo too. Still taking hits. We'll sink any. Oh, two, four 12 inch hits in two minutes. Uh, you choose what divisions of ships go into battles. No. No. Um, you deploy ships to an area, and depending on what type of battle fires and various uh, other factors, like some tech things, uh, the game will decide what pops in there. You don't get to just say, I'm going to use all of these guys and put them into a battle. You put them into an area and hope for the best. And semi-armor piercing ammo is useful, but you have to set it up correctly. So when you get semi-armor piercing ammo, you have to tell the game that you want to equip it onto your ships and in what quantities for what guns and who to fire it at. But it is extremely effective when fired at the right targets from the right guns. This ship is taking a pounding. Yeah, so like if you um, if you get into a situation where like I, you what generally what you want to do is you want to take your your ships that you assume are going to be fighting ships. Of, of a lesser class usually and give them semi-armor piercing guns. So, uh, semi-armor piercing rounds. So like heavy cruisers firing on light cruisers, highly likely an AP shell is gonna go through and an HE shell might not do that much damage, but a semi-armor piercing shell is going to be devastating. A battleship shooting a battle cruiser with a semi-armor piercing shell is going to be devastating. So you just got to, um, you gotta get the uh, the specifics down. All right, let's see if we can torpedo her. She's doing the wiggle wiggle, so might not. Oh, I did not think that was gonna hit. Or um, it's even it even can be useful. You can um like uh, design some like hunter killer type of ships with that ammo in mind like what i've done before is i've designed uh light cruisers like kind of like up gun to light cruisers so like lots and lots of six inch guns and um then arm armor those with semi armor piercing uh rounds and then when they get into fights with other light cruisers those semi armor piercing rounds from a six inch gun are just absolutely shred
because the six inch gun is gonna do uh could, could easily over penetration uh over pen on a light cruiser you just gotta you just gotta get it set up right all right now we get the fuck out of here everybody goes back to port we lost i think only destroyers i don't think we lost anything bigger than a destroyer Yeah, you know, then took some engine room hits early on and never, never really recovered. So she goes, oh, uh, hang on. There we go. So I think I'm going to end up with like four or five thousand victory points up for this one. Because that was just absolute. Hey, did these guys ever land a hit? Yes, actually. They landed for... for holy hell. 2,500 rounds fired for 14 hits. My God. Line the coast with 6 to 10 inch guns. I put it in about, about, about as much as I can. The way the guns fire, they don't evenly distribute uh, along the coastline. They cluster up like this. So putting in lots and lots and lots of them isn't that effective. I wish it worked differently, but it doesn't. And the sun's gonna come back down soon. So what do we think we, we killed? Five capital ships? Six capital ships? It was a lot. Plus most of the transports. Seven, if you count the heavy cruiser. And a heavily damaged. Oh, six, I lost 11 destroyers. I, I suicided those, but they also lost two light cruisers and 10 destroyers, and I did sink all the transports at the end. So, yeah, 200,000 damage. Jesus Christ. So, who who got away is the, um, is the question. The Gongut. So, okay, she took one torpedo and fucked off. So, that's why she made it back. Okay. I remember seeing her. Yeah. That one was the one that ate a torpedo. See this one. Oh, we just shot that one. That one we just shot up on the way past. Uh, you got... This one did not get torpedoed. Two heavy hits put her down, it looks like. Progressive flooding did her. A lot of six-inch hits. She was on fire for a long time. And we also got the 10 destroyers too. So that's a pretty devastating victory. Holy crap. 13,000. So I said four or 5,000 up. Right, right in that range. Uh, interrogation of enemy prisoners rescued during the battle has given us insights in their armor uh, development technology. That I've never seen before. That's cool. Private shipbuilding gave me another thousand. The diet authorizes additional war loans. Uh, better research for explosive shells from capturing enemy munitions. A 1% weight saving on hulls. Gradual national fire rate, national rate of fire improvement. All the notifications. Holy crap, that was a battle and a half. Uh, I, I have a lot of ships out of service right now from being damaged, but they have a lot of ships out of service because they sank. Um, yeah, now it's showing only two pre-dreadnoughts and four armored cruisers on station. And that was with everybody, that was with their, uh, their, their second Pacific squadron coming in. Holy crap. Let's see, light rain and heavy winds. So this might be a battle where it's just like, eh, it's better to just leave. I'm thinking, yeah, because I don't think it's worth the fight. So we'll grab you guys. 
Squad max and turn away. Yeah. I don't think it's worth the fight. The high winds... Oh, now it's a gale, yeah. A gale can sink a ship with no damage. Or the Russians... We can take a look at the Almanac this coming turn. Let's do that. Would have been a fairly fair fight. But... Didn't, uh, intelligence service considering offering safe passage to some revolutionaries. Yes, please. Uh, and six foot range finders, nice. So almanac, the Russians still have six pre dreadnoughts, but most of oh uh, yeah, six pre dreadnoughts, but no, most of them are not on this side. Also, their budget's twice mine, and I'm still fuck, fuck your technical development being behind your fucking game. <laughs> um. 10 armored cruisers, 11 or 12 light cruisers, 36 destroyers, but a lot of that is uh, elsewhere at the moment. Are they sending another force around somewhere? Or is it mostly right here? It's mostly over here. Mostly. The game just fucking started and it's already telling me I'm technically behind. Go fuck yourself. So, squad max minus two. Oh, shit. Okay, we're right between them now. Well, I got hit by a torpedo. They got gunned up. All right, how you doing? Ah, you ate that pretty well. Fortunately, I do believe these outgunned me because they got six inch guns. Oh, excuse me. Uh, if you build AMCs, do they get scrapped after the war? Yes, they do. So, usually AMCs are great if you're planning on the war being fairly long. So, unfortunately, this guy might die. But I am pretty heavily outgunned, so I don't think it's worth risking all of these to save the one. So we, we're just gonna, we're just gonna. Oh God, I thought they were actually leaving me. I'm on fire. <laughs> I'm going three knots. All right, now yeah, she's gone. They, I was not gonna win a gunfight against um, much more heavily armed cruisers. So unfortunately having to sacrifice one to save the rest. No more Spain without the S. No, I think I'm not going to play Spain again until a lot of the bugs are fixed. Because r right now I'm mostly trying to work my way around a lot of the bugs. So that was that was a minor victory from them. Pack burn safety valves, 1% weight savings. I feel like I'm way ahead. That last battle they got 8 uh 8,000 victory points for basically getting their ass handed to them. Most of that was because they did technically land the troops. They got a lot of armored cruisers here. That's where they're getting a lot of the weight from. You don't have enough... You, you barely have enough battleships for a squadron at this point. I've only got three of mine here. But we're right in my neck of the woods, so this is good for me. It's just, just yeah, it's just me and you, you fucks. Frankly, I feel like my guys are pretty good these days. Crew quality 10, uh, range chance minus 10, fire control. This tech level thing is just driving me nuts. It is all over the place. I started the war at minus 20. And it's already dropped to minus 40. And it was minus 50 on one of my um, coastal fortifications. One of the uh, fire safety features in the galley is the Gaylord Hood. 
Uh, what 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 is what is the Gaylord Hood? I am unfamiliar with this safety feature. All right, we're not gonna catch them, and they're not gonna seed me the. Oh, maybe they will. I was gonna say they're not gonna seed me the advantage, but they just turned around. Spray, <laughs> it sprays foam when there's a fire in the deep fryers. Woo! That's uh, that sounds that sounds nice. Whoa! 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 A couple nice hits there, Imperator. Both these two just took a couple hits. Okay, let's grab control of these. Make sure they're on max and not doing something stupid. Another 12-inch hit. Oh, that one looks like she may have slowed down. Or she may have just been... Okay. No. I was going to say, she may have slowed down. She may have just been uh, uh, getting into formation. I think she was just getting into formation. Oh, she doesn't look a little slower. Every time I turn back to port, they want to engage again. Well, they don't want to get close. Not, I feel like the accuracy is fucking pretty good, but maybe I, I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. You know why uh, Japan's my favorite? Japan's my favorite because the sneak attacks are entertaining as fuck. All right, now, now I feel like I'm taking uh, more hits than we're delivering. <laughs> they stopped hitting any with anything. All right, now they're on this side. Okay, okay. All right, let's get these destroyers out here. Um, squad max is 18. Let's try to keep those going. Trying to. Okay, okay, okay. No, 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 not, not this time. Not this time, you fuck. All right, I'm going to try to hit the one to my right. Fire. Fire everything! I missed! Fuck! Oh, you already fired your second torpedo somewhere. Okay, okay, okay. Hang on, hang on. <laughs> Namikaze, you got one left. Minikaze, you are still lead ship here. All right, you took a torpedo. Oh God, it's getting a little co confusing now. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh God, um, you're out. All right, all right. You control some of the other guys, I guess. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Here we go. Ah, oh, God damn it! Everybody's blowing up. Stop exploding, you cowards! Out of arc, my ass. Three, three of these guys just blew the fuck up. They went down fast. All right, you got one torpedo. I gotta build some more, some more destroyers one of these days. All right, that was a that was a hit. So that was several hits. And I think both of these two. I think that one did not get hit. But I'm pretty sure those two both got it. I lost like five destroyers though. My suicide destroyers are gonna need to be a little replenished. Lots of hits on Imperator Nikolai the first. Oh, she's on fire. Oh, it sounds like delightful. Oh, she's an easy target. All right, she's on fire and she's eating a torpedo. So I think now we're gonna turn around and try to get this guy, because that one is not having a great day. This one seems to be having a little bit better of a day. So we'll see if we can get her. A little bit more damage downrange. You probably near common con tactics early process. <laughs> Don't okay. Yeah, so um I, I also I do miss if anybody remembers my older Rule the Wave streams, there was a bug. That allowed you to forward mount 
torpedoes on destroyers on the deck. Uh, and I use those all the time. And it was so fun having like quad, quad snoot mounted torpedoes. <laughs> it was devastating. <laughs> oh yeah. No, that was a bug. They patched it out. <laughs> that doesn't exist anymore. You can't have the bayonet torpedoes. I didn't know if it was working as intended or not. Um, but yeah, after I started abusing it really heavily, there was a patch that took that out. And it does not exist in Rule of Waves 3. All right, heavily damaged, on fire. So let's turn back this way and see if we can find the rest of them. They should be heading over here. Uh, can you still do it with 3k light cruisers? Uh, I don't know. I've never tried that on light cruisers before. I only ever tried it on destroyers. But I don't think so. Too dangerous now. So that's a definite one. Yeah, the other one's got away. Oh, we actually had almost caught him up, uh, caught up to him too. All right, so man, yeah. So the gong got sunk that time. But this one. Oh no, 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 you didn't. That one did not take a torpedo hit. Misidentified. So what we were talking about before. So it said it, there was a torpedo hit on that one. There was not. <laughs> five destroyers. Well, still a good victory. That was a lot of destroyers for one enemy ship, though. Almost to your Lord Death Hand. Thanks to the redoodly. Woot, woot, Solid victory. You know, Earth. more tonnage off station. So. Haven't had a coastal bombardment in a while. Right, I'm going to put you on AI control for scouting. And I will control the two cruisers. I think we've got a victory on our hands, though. And hopefully we'll be able to take a possession or two. Where you go? Uh, squad max minus two. Yeah, that's fine. Kill the patrol boat, obviously. And we'll pop down here, go down to cruising speed. Uh, maybe significantly less than cruising speed. And we'll we'll pop on over here to the bombardment. Well, here. Speed up. Get in close. Is that one of mine? That's one of mine. That's one of theirs. Don't want to go too slow, just in case we get ganked. Yeah. There we go. That's a lot of damage. Hey, ooh, easy peasy. And there's the cruisers. Just finished uh, Japanese command at the end. End its all missile spam. Damn straight. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where are you guys going? Jesus Christ. Screen for me, not suicide directly into the enemy death cannons. What speed are we going? 20 knots, go 18. Ooh, some hits! We got five inches of belt armor, so a seven, eight inch gun should do some damage. Well, that's a nine. Do we hit with a nine? Well, we got a hit scored, but I don't know if it was on these guys. The Zumo with the set seven inch guns are doing some work. Six inch guns doing some work. Honestly, not half bad. Trading trading hits now. But we've done some good damage. Uh they're turning away. 
Fuck your destroyer. Whoa, two six inch hits took that guy down. Uh, medium damaged, medium damage. Almost not. Well, this one's taken. The Tokiwa took a little bit more. So let's ask them to fire on, yeah, the heaviest ships. You go chase down that transport for me. All right, now I'm taking hits. That, well, okay, now we're trading again. Ooh, we had, finally got a big hit, a nine-inch gun. Two sixes on the Lopnik. So that, that one's the one that's less... <laughs> less critical to try to take out. This, this guy's a big boy, though. Tokiwa is taking more hits again. Zumo is still pretty good. Was that was she on fire? I thought she was on fire for a second there. Maybe, maybe I'm a, maybe I'm a crazy person. Another nine inch hit on that one. Be better if they if they focused fire on the lead ship rather than splitting it up. Me thinks. Running out of ammo. Lotnik's Lotnik's taking it pretty good. Get it pretty good here. <laughs> Fuck load of hits. Okay, now she's definitely on fire. Zumo's doing a good job. 11 7 inch hits, 13 5 inch hits. The Tokiwa, well, 5 9 inch hits. That's better than I expected. And 36 6 inch hits. This guy just took a bunch of 7s. Lotnik just took two nines, heavily damaged on fire and falling out of formation now. Honestly, the, the, the majority of their tonnage on station now is uh, heavy cruisers, so taking out a couple of these would be great. Let's continue. Now, I think we got the Votnik, uh, Lotnik, but the, 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 the Varyag. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Now they're focusing fire on... Oh, well, no, they're not focusing fire. Fuck. I wish they would. But she just took a sh sh smacking. Get off! Leave me! <laughs> that last round was a whole bunch of seven-inch hits. Honestly, maybe I'll build a, a, a seven-inch heavy... Seven-inch armed heavy cruiser because I never use seven-inch guns. Uh, this is, maybe, maybe it's time I give them a shot. Hey, <laughs> get fucked! I don't. This thing can't. She's still heavily damaged or mediumly damaged. Only going ten knots. All of her guns are still firing. That destroyer just stopped dead at its tracks. Now she's on fire. Uh, the Lotnik is on fire and limping away at five knots. Oh, honestly, good, good performance from my, my heavy cruiser crews. Seven inch was, I, I don't have semi, uh, armor piercing. It's way too early in the game for that. I got a, I got a long time before we'll see that. We are running out of ammo too. That is a very small light cruiser. 3,500 tons, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to detach my destroyers to go south and see if we can coup de gras this one. And then see if we can chase down this one. Londus, welcome! Chase down this one with my big guns. Or my medium guns. Like, the, the, the fact that this thing is burning out of control probably means she'll sink anyway. But let's just double, you know, double tap. Always be certain. And apparently we fired a tor they, they torpedo to her anyway. Okay, cool. All right, she's dead in the water. Oh, they're making for port. They're making for Nachocoto. Nach nacho, nacho Nachos. Oh man, I want some nachos now. Heavily damaged and on fire. Good chance she'll sink, but still. Better to be careful. Better, better be safe. 
And by safe, I mean safe for me, not for them. They die. Oh man, it's Saturday, isn't it? Oh, I can't wait for my vacation this year. We are gonna be playing a lot of Rule the Waves probably during vacation time. Definitely Rim World, and I'm thinking maybe we try something we haven't done. Maybe, maybe this is the the time when I say, "Hey, I'm gonna play um, uh, uh, Silent Hunter," and we actually play Silent Hunter because that'd be fucking cool. We'll see. Uh, this guy is also only hitting five knots now. She put the fires out, and she's no longer saying she's heavily damaged. This is the big one, too, so this is the one we want to focus down. And we just took a bunch of hits. Okay, well, now she's taking more hits again. Heavily damaged. Yeah, you are. This thing just got shellacked. Are we out of ammo for the main guns? The forward gun is out. The the aft gun still got a couple rounds. Forward is out. Aft gun still got a couple rounds. Oh god, but I can't get torpedoed now. Zumo limits flooding. He's taking a, a, a bit of damage. I wonder if there uh, if a legit Mexican place would do well up there. There is a uh, a little tiny place on the hill above the Paradox office that is run by an actual Mexican family from Mexico and it does amazing. So it's actual authentic Mexican food which I never thought I would be able to get in Sweden. It's very good. Uh, especially during the spring and summer people from Paradox go there all the time. Okay, okay, now we go home. Now we go cruising speed. We put torpedo into your butt. I will say this though, that they have they have cur curated their menu for the Swedish palate and that it's like there's not it's not very spicy. Because we've talked about this before, Swedes can't handle spicy food. So a lot of the places that have um, like non-Swedish cuisine curates the spice ratio to uh, something their normal clientele could accept. There is one just like generic Asian fusion restaurant near the office where I can get legitimately very spicy food. Which is, which is, oh, that was a hell of a torpedo hit right in the butt. Um, so, so that, that one I go to every once in a while because I can legit get good spicy food there. Like a jalapeno is hot, hot for them. Like a jalapeno would, would put a, would put a sweet on their ass. Yeah. Um, one of the stories that, uh, I, I, it's a new story that I, that I rather enjoy is when I was in Spain uh, a couple months ago to film some stuff for EU4, um, I went to lunch with, uh, 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 Yuan, the game director for EU4, and, uh, I was, I was sitting there looking at the menu and I was like, man, I'm in Spain. I feel like there's got to be spicier food here than in Sweden. He was like, oh, yeah. If, uh, if you like spicy food, get their, like, it was like spicy jalapeno pizza. And I was like, he's like, it's the spiciest thing ever. Like, okay, cool. Spiciest thing ever. Awesome. And I ate the whole thing. I was just like, two? Two out of ten? It was good. Also, I slacked the shit out of them. <laughs> one heavily damaged cruiser. They lost two armored cruiser, one light cruiser, two destroyers, one corvette, uh, a transport, and the land target. Um, so it was like it was just jalapenos. It was just it was just like jarred jalapenos on a pizza. So 
Not, 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 you know, the smallest amount of spicy. Oh no, revolutionary ideas from Russia are infecting our workers. Oh god. Uh, and then, so th that was like, okay, whatever. What? <laughs> Spain entered the war on my side? <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. <laughs> I, I, oh, all right, whatever. <laughs> you you do you, Spain. So uh, af after that, I was, uh, after that, uh, um, the next night, I was at dinner with the rest of the film crew. And I was in a restaurant that was, it was, we went to this place because it was literally adjacent to my hotel. And we had, it was like a 14 hour shoot that day. So we were all fucking exhausted. So we were just like, we're at the hotel. Doom! Let's just go to the place that's one step over. And it was like, I don't remember the name. It was, it was a silly American name. It was like, it was like Jimmy Bob's authentic American foodery or something stupid like that. So I was like, okay, whatever. It's close. And um, we got, we all ordered our food and I went down the menu and you know how sometimes the menus have like, they have little spice, little, little like jalapeno signs next to something to indicate that it's spicy. Big Ed! Big Ed, Big, Big Ed Jigglesby. I love that name. Welcome. Um, and there was one item on the menu. Cruiser action. Out at, Li, out at Liao Tung. Um, that had three. It was the only thing on the menu with three chilies next to it. So it was like, this is the spiciest thing on the menu. Doesn't get any higher than this. And so I was like, that's what I'm getting. We're ordering that. Um... Uh, and it came, and I took a bite, and the guy, the the, the rest of the film crew is like looking at me, like waiting for me to die, and I was just like, zero, zero, like it wasn't even on the spectrum. It was it was zero zero amount of spiciness. Oh, Dino beans. Oh, look at that, like, on the <laughs> oh shit! I didn't check to see if uh, we were gonna be outgunned here or not. Uh, yes, I am. So this may have been a mistake. I got one more ship. So let's, let's, let's be careful here. So yeah, it was, um, it was just funny that the spiciest thing on the menu was, was zero. It was not spicy in any way. To the point where I actually thought they may have made a mistake and not put anything in it that was spicy. So I just, you know, it, anecdotes from 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 <laughs> of spiciness in Sweden. Oh, we're taking a lot of six-inch hits there. Oh no! Oh, disaster! I'm getting Eiffel Towered <laughs> between two formations here. Fuck, and I'm nowhere near a port. Oh, fuck you. There's two big heavy cruiser here. <laughs> Move to Santa Fe. Well, the, see, the thing is, is I successfully extricated myself from the U.S. and I don't want to go back, so pass. I'm going to give that one a, a big old pass. Uh, I'm going to try to make a torpedo run on one of these guys to see if I can savage something from this. Oh, oh, there's a fuck. Oh, right in your butt. I don't know if I'm gonna. I don't know if that, that might be too close to get a good angle. I'm gonna get you. That's actually a decent angle. Oh, fuck you. Oh, wait, wait. There it is. <laughs> Oh, I don't even know what happened there. It just disappeared. That torpedo just disappeared. It may have run out of juice because it was set to high. I'm over here. I can't provide cross the pond peppers. I need, I need peppers. <laughs> All right. I was hoping for a ram there. I missed. Oh, that looked good. I think that was a dud. 
That looks good, though. Oh, come on! You... Fuck. When does the sun go down? Oh, soon. I might be able to get away when the sun the sun goes down. Well, soon-ish. Leave me! Leave me! <laughs> Just running away. I, it was like, okay, I can take the fight when it's two big light cruisers versus three small light cruisers. That's not a big deal. And then two heavy cruisers popped out of the ether. And that was a no. Oh, God, I had the wrong guy selected. Oh, go this way. I'm gonna get away! The, the land is my friend! Okay, here comes the sun. And the gift bot might just need a kick in the ghoulies. And then it'll probably work. There it is. Here, let's, uh... Now it should work. That was just me forgetting to turn it on. Uh, oh, 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 change course. Okay. Oh, I'm getting away. I don't think anybody's dead. I'm I'm bummed all those torpedoes missed because two of them looked pretty good. But the fact that I'm gonna get away with nobody dead is a solid victory. Oh god, demonstrations. Come on, I'm winning! I've kicked so much ass. Spain adds some victory points. What is Spain gonna do? Where are you gonna where are you gonna put your ships? Holy shit, Spain's gonna blockade Northern Europe! <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that's awesome. Uh I didn't think there would be a powerful enough Spanish navy to do anything, but no. That's a thick stack of Spaniards going to the Baltic. <laughs> I get fucked. Uh, alrighty. How many... I still got a couple months until my new heavy cruisers are out. Uh, the last coastal bombardment I did, I kicked their ass. Can Spain get land? Yes, Spain can get land. Ooh, it's misty. Spain can get land out of it. So we'll take control over the heavy cruiser myself. Uh, and this is a raid. So we just we are just looking for ships to sink. Wait, hello. Oh god, I'm heavily outnumbered again. Back! Spanish Kamchaka. Yeah, there you go. It's just another situation of they have way more ships in this battle. They don't have more ship. I have more sh more tonnage on station than they do. They just got more spawned in the battle than me. So I am outgunned. Oh, why did you do that? Get yourself killed. So I sent the the revolutionaries to um, to Russia, and uh, they're infecting my own guys. Also, I am getting raided pretty heavily now, so I might need to peel some ships off to do anti-raiding raiding. Being so heavily outnumbered, it's not worth the engagement. They have three big armored cruisers versus mine, my one. Docks complete. Army wants more resources. Only the Navy can win this. Woo! Medium wing turrets. Enable secondary uh, wing double turrets up to 10 inches. Nice. Yeah, it's like 10. So I think what I'm going to need to do is break off, like, maybe the... Okay, that ship actually did really good. They're all they're all elite now. Um, so I think I'll take the Tokiwa and put her on Raider so she, she can help. Uh, the Asama, which actually has not seen very much action. 
uh, is my best one. Of course, my best ship is the one that hasn't seen very much action. Watch, now it'll get a battle. A lot of cruiser action. No, just light cruisers, though. Shit. My light cruisers are my probably my weakest um, subset of ships right now. Because they're all... Well, all my ships are legacy ships right now. I haven't built any manually. And our light cruisers just were bad. They're all small and undergunned. So for now, what we'll just do is grab these ships and send them to port again. Because again, I'm, I'm heavily outgunned here. Even though I outgun them in the theater, they're getting more spawned into the battle. Maybe we can get someone to hit a, a mine. That'd be great. Although I will say this, it is extremely rare for an enemy ship to hit one of your mines. They always seem to know exactly where they are. But if they futz around in there, maybe we'll get lucky. They're shooting something. Somebody's shooting Your something. Looks like the coastal batteries and a Corvette, maybe. Although that light cruiser that I had no control over is in there too, it looks like. So unfortunately, okay, we can just do this now. Fortunately, that light cruiser might go down. We'll see. Uh, no, no, no. She didn't sink. We just traded some shots. Barely anything. Widespread demonstrations demanding peace and bread. Not a time for complaints. Sound out the enemy government for the possibility of a negotiated peace. Divert resources from the military to ensure basic living standards. Okay, how much money could that possibly cost me if I did this? I'm at 194. Eleven inch guns. One of the Russian raiders has been interred. Okay, that was it was not that bad. Nine K. Can turn off support forces. Oh, is that a is that a preference I can change? Uh oh yeah, that one right there. Okay. Also, I have no idea what, uh, if checked, line of sight calculations involving land are more exact. May slow down the game on older computers. Okay, well, I don't have an old computer. Fleet battle, you say? Okay, I've got battleships at least. Got the zoom. Where, why is that one heavy cruiser never show up into the battles? That one of that one heavy cruiser never shows up. The best one. The best heavy cruiser. Alright, sun's coming down. Uh, but we got a while, so we might be okay. There, let's uh, we know they were off this direction. So let's go this way. Yeah. There you are, you fuck. All right. And so far, the accuracy of my, my guys have been pretty good as the war has been going. Crew quality's gone up. Uh, I wonder if we still have to, still going to show me that ridiculous tech penalty. Tech level minus 30. So it, it, it went from 20 to 30 to 40, then back down to 30. I would love, it, it would be great to sink a couple more of those cruisers. Because these guys are big, and they've been a pain in my ass, because their cruiser, their big cruisers have been reliably uh, firing in their battles, and mine have not. Well, I've only got the one good one, but we just haven't seen her much. A couple three-inch shells. Tomorrow's stream, tomorrow's stream's gonna be Rule the Waves. I've been taking just a little break from RimWorld, not because I hate the game, just because I wanted a little break from it. The last couple, um... 
last couple of streams uh, ended in an uh, unsatisfying manner. So I was like, we'll take a break. Oh, get fucked, Imperator. Okay, now you turn south. Oh, wait, no, now they're turning. So now you don't turn south. Now, now we go north. Go north. Go north. Imperator bitch. Uh, why don't we... Here, I'm gonna pull off uh, one destroyer and see if we can't make a run on her and do a nice coup de gras here. Because I'm thinking, yeah. Oh, man. Nothing feels quite as uh, good in this game as when you upgrade from, um, like, two torpedoes on a ship to, like, six. Oh, fuck. Have you played a run of Victoria 3? I have played Victoria 3 for thousands of hours. But I have not streamed it yet. Uh, I played it mostly for work. Oh, fuck. God damn it. <laughs> I was not trying to do that. I mean, that's totally what I was trying to do. Um, I, I honestly don't feel like the game is super streamable. Okay, she did get a torpedo in her. Because there's not a lot of, like, action going on. Um, so I just don't feel like it's super interesting to stream. So, like, in EU4, there's always, like... Lots of, um, uh, lots of warfare, lots of sh shenanigans. CK2 is always incest and murder. So, Malik saw the bot. Get him. Told Andres to go do it. Because Andres will just take it and start looking at that. But I had already done that. In the same way, I was supposed to, like, take care of this. I had already done that. Yeah. So, I'm kind of waiting on a couple things to change in the game, if they ever do. And then, and then we'll pro- Oh, <laughs> And then we'll probably... Oh, hey, hey, where are you going? Oh, did you get your rudder jammed starboard? Okay, lead ship rudder jammed starboard. Fuck. Oh, that formation's all out of whack now. Uh, yeah, so just waiting on it, basically. Uh, you, how are you doing? Heavy damage. Uh, here, why don't you guys go down here? <laughs> Was it the Fuji? Oh, this is all messed up. All right, let's try to get these ships back in line at least. Sarovich is getting shellacked right now. Yeah, okay, now we've managed to get people back in line. Zarovich is dead in the water. Excellent, fucking A. So you're like, I really like Vicky, but I feel it, it, Vicky in, in both, both Vicky and CK3, I feel like are right on the cusp of where I want them to be before I really love them. Like just about there. I think two torpedoes is probably gonna be good enough here. Uh, One hit. So we're getting there. For me, the um, the major gripe for for me on Vicky Three is I really don't like the trade system. I know I know most people complain about the warfare system, and frankly, I couldn't give a rat's ass about that. Really, like, yeah, there's some bugs and some polishing, but like the main, the the the, the system itself, I think, is perfectly fine. I don't need every paradox game to be a a war game, um, to enjoy it. But uh, for me, Vicky, the thing I don't like about Vicky 3 the most is the trade system. Because it just doesn't work that well. I almost never find myself being able to trade for any more than uh, a small handful of goods. Which means I almost always have to make everything myself. Which means pretty much every country plays about the same. Which bugs me. <clears throat> All right, so you're definitely hooked. 
And given the sun's coming down, I think it's time for me to leave. Yeah, everybody head there. Weird command style economy in the industrial evolution feels weird. Yeah. I don't mind that so much. But like, uh, like, like, for instance, I was playing Venezuela recently, and it's, it's like, I need, like, 50 sulfur. I need a very small quantity of sulfur uh, to really get things going for my, my country. And it's like, okay, let's trade for some sulfur. You could, you have sulfur. And it's like, oh, you're getting three. Okay, why, why, why am I only getting three? Why is it not any higher than that? Well, I, I don't know, and it's not going to tell you. So you're just not getting it. Something... Something's not fulfilled, but it doesn't really tell you what it is. I mean, you could go digging, but it's like a lot of different... It's sussing out the problem through a lot of different menus, and it could be 10 different things that are causing that problem. So it's like, okay, I'll import sulfur from everybody that has it, from five different people, and everybody gives me three. It's like... Oh. It's like, all right, okay. Woo! 3,000 victory points there. That was two enemy pre-dreadnoughts sunk. Uh, negotiated peace with us getting disputed board ears. Press, uh, do not let them off cheapy. Press for, for our terms. Yes! Large territories and considerable reparations. Uh, okay, I get to pick a thing. So, Kamchaka, Liaotung Peninsula, or Sakhalin, because these two are bigger, probably should take Kamchaka or Liaotung. Uh, I'm gonna go with the Chinese holding first. They're working on Torpedo Protection 1. Uh, they're working on main battery wing turrets. So they're, they're working on things. Drop downs. Yeah, a, a lot of a, a lot of things like could be better with a good um, like UI, UX pass. Like there's a lot of information in the game and it's almost never where I want it to be, unfortunately. <laughs> All right, reserve the fleet. My budget did not take that much of a hit. Well, that was pretty good. I only lost 30k. That's good. Uh, Leo Tung Peninsula. Build fortifications. A bunch of six-inch coastal batteries. Not five of them, but build four of them. Uh, and I said, already hit this, right? Yes. And these guys should be done. Yeah. One. It's always one month before the next ship comes out, isn't it? A knob to go. Okay. France lost a colony, too. Private shipbuilding gave me another thousand tons. Uh, who do I think will likely be an enemy in the future? In France. Austria, Hungary, and the U.S. have signed an alliance. Spy from Great Britain. Maximum publicity. Oh, we're already back up to one seventy-six. That might be that might be a little dangerous. All right, uh, I reserve everybody. So we've got a whole bunch new rum lines in. Delightful. All right, they are the, the you guys do a float, very much, very float. Hey, Colin, how you doing? Uh, hope to see more streams like CK2. I was actually thinking about streaming CK2. I'm really in the mood for CK2 these days. I don't know what it is. I'm just in the mood for CK2. All right, we did lose a vast amount of destroyers um research general light forces so we have just we could build our own destroyers up to 400 tons so that's what we do uh let's see here the actually the destroyers that the game designed for me are better than this Hang on. Um, build ship. The 400 gun destroyers that already exist go 30 knots. Oh, they're short range and cramped. Ah, fuck it. They're destroyer crews. This was a 1900 start, yes. So just lay down another 10 of those. That's fine. Also, let's um, design some Corvettes. Uh, uh, it's fine. <laughs> it's 
It's about what it needs. Oh, there's a reason it wanted it to be that big. Okay. I think 24 knots is legal. Yes. Um, additional armament. Can't put anything. I can put mine sweeping gear on there. Might be. It actually is a good idea to have some mine sweepers early on. So we'll do that. Face hardening. Thank you. I need a very hard face. Okay, so we'll put in a bunch of minesweepers. Put down a bunch of those. Yes, let's actually do that. That is, that is a good idea. Let's build some good light cruisers. I like, I like light cruisers at about 6,000 tons base. And actually, that's pretty much what I wanted in terms of uh, armament. I wanted it to be uh, uh, jammed full of 6-inch guns because mine are undergunned it as, as it is right now. Okay, so we're gonna actually get her two inches on the deck, no problem. We, whoo -hoo -hoo! oh man, yeah, hey, hey, oh, hey. Uh, get some ugly ass turrets. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> How big? It's not showing me my Thonson. <laughs> Okay, that's 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 good. Actually, this is a really good ship. That's pretty much what I wanted. I wanted it to be packed full of six inch guns. There's no secondary guns on it, just six inch guns. So yeah, that, 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 there there we go. We got turrets. We got we, or torpedoes. We got a couple torpedoes. Uh, pick a doodle. Bookwork. Save it. So this is nice now. There's my coastal fortifications. Another round of fighting in the Balkans. I think this is France doing it. All right. Uh, let's lay down a bunch of these bad boys. We need, a, we need a bunch of light cruisers. The Italians are offering to sell me the rights to pressure hulls, which I will take. And apparently I got some periscopes too. Um, I guess I could build some coastal subs. Why not? Let's do that. I think this is just chapstick. <laughs> That is Germany. I don't buy shit from Swedish Amazon. Swedish Amazon kind of sucks. Hi, Theodora. You gotta go get dinner, Theo Bear. What's your mom? He said, uh, fleet flag and division battle orders from the division screen. That's ridiculous. Uh, from the division screen? Uh, what can you do? Move, dissolve, clear, rename, set, roll. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew you could do that. Cause that was in the, something about that was in the patch notes. Also, schedule training. Scandal involving the U.S. Well, the tensions are there uh, aren't too high there, so yeah. Oh, central firing. Don't mind if I do. Uh, I think we'll go to the rum lines first and update those before anybody else because those are the newest ships. So save that. Please and thank you. Spain wants to extend. Yes, I mean, I don't even know why we're allies. Captain Nishida is in charge of preparations for the annual Army-Navy football game. 
I don't actually know what the point of fleet morale is. Because I've never seen it in any numbers other than zero or negative one, and I have no idea how it affects battles, so... I know you could have mutinies if it goes really low, but I've never seen it go lower than negative one. Side drums. Close to torpedo... I'm kind of waiting on bigger ships for torpedo protection one. Gradual increase in shell damage. Thank you. There's the reconstructions. Uh, oh, I love it when this happens. The eccentric scientist things, I always say yes. Sometimes it works. Steel industry wants a stronger navy, and I will I will agree to that. Okay, so destroyers are going to start popping off in a hot second. Um, I think... Because we're probably going to keep these in service for a while. I don't have better guns on anything. These were rebuilt in Great Britain. Or built in Great Britain. So I think what we just do is up their fire control for now. Those are really easy rebuilds. Fuji, you are alone in your class. A lot of these were built in Great Britain. I do love those Victorian turrets, though. All right, better range finder. Am I, does the game still tell me I'm ass? <laughs> Fucking game. All right, all right, all right, all right. 1% weight saving, 1% weight saving on hull. All right, Yoshima's. Same thing, it's the only thing to change on these right now is the range finders. I'm just gonna ripple these through. Difference between a submerged torpedo tubes and torpedo tubes? At least with the, the side tube mounts. Uh, so submerged torpedo tubes are below the water line. Um, they have a, a, a fixed firing angle, so it's pretty hard. It's a lot harder to aim them. Um, the benefit is that they have unlimited reloads in the game. Uh, it takes like 10 or 15 minutes to reload them, but they will keep reloading throughout the battle. Um, the, uh, one of the downsides is, is though the uh, you can't have very many of them. You can only have up to two per side, and then one in the snoot and one in the boot. Uh, and the torpedo flat is basically a big open area of the ship where the torpedoes are stored and handled, which is very susceptible to flooding. Um, and then the other torpedo, the regular torpedo mounts are just swivel mounts on the deck. Which are more susceptible to damage. Uh, only have reloads later in the game, but they swivel. Which gives you much, uh, easier, um, angles to work with. Slump in the economy? Oh, well, I'm not... No, not slumpy. Unacceptable. Any further cuts to the Navy budget are unacceptable. Budget down, prestige up, tension up. But only down by a tiny little bit. I lost 1k. Or minor allies in the Asian mainland is threatened by a neighbor. At unconditional backing. Whoa! New torpedo tubes, too. Or new torpedoes. As well. Okay, okay. So... The Ikis. Central firing. Oh, uh, here. Okay. Hi, Zen. I don't know if these are going to stay in service for very long. They probably won't. Oh, we can improve the main guns on these guys, too. Might as well. Save that. Oh, that was built in France, actually. Well, right now I'm running a deficit, so no, I'm not going to put spies back on them just yet. Uh, okay, so this bad boy, this is the one that was, like, the best ship, the best cruiser I had in terms of stats, but never saw any combat. Well, can't improve any of those guns, sadly. So we'll just redo her thingy. Everybody's getting new thingies. This, only, this is the one that saw a lot of combat, but only he's got lesser, slower, and has lesser armament. But yeah, just do ever do it up. Say, oh, I gotta select a builder. I don't know why I gotta do that for everyone. You know who I want to build things? Me. All right, I'm gonna put on the little Unebis here on Foreign Station. Oh yeah, reserve the fleet. Because they are popping off and not being reserved. The government sponsoring of heavy industry increases our dock size. 
18.5. No, 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 we're not doing it in disarmament. We should not limit our national security by any restrictions imposed upon us. Removes delay risk and strategic movements and reduce the risk of divisions away from the flagship going into AI control. Good. So I got a 3,000 on that. All the reconstructions are fine. Another round of fighting is uh, broken out in the Balkans. I'm going to keep blaming France. Let's fuck them. Everybody back on reserve. Cool. Keep those docks coming. All right. So what about these guys? Let's open them. These are the bigger ones I have. Rated for 22 knots. What if we replace the machinery? They've got a lot of guns. I could put the uh, the main guns into turrets. The penalty for building other uh, ships in other countries because I haven't bothered uh, to suss that out yet. So uh, it costs, I think, 10% more. It's a little bit more expensive. Uh, and the main risk is, is that over the course of the several years it will take to build the ship, uh, if it's a big one, um, if tensions get high, they could just say, this ship is mine now, and they could take it. Uh, if a war breaks out that they're involved in, they can say, oh, uh, I, uh, the, 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 the need for these ships is very great here. They're mine now. So they can take your ships. Uh, but the, and then the, one of the benefits is that you can suss out technology through doing that. If it's something that they have that's used on that ship that you don't have, you can, it, when the ship comes over, you can kind of reverse engineer. All right, so give them new engines and put the guns in turrets. Oh, and <laughs> fire control. Central firing, save. There we go. Yeah, do that. New German ship, the Karlsruhe. <laughs> Woof! Wait, I thought that was a light cruiser for a sec. No, it's a heavy cruiser. Two eight-inch guns. Another accuracy improvement. Oh, bigger destroyers. I should probably take use of that. Okay, most of the rebuilds are almost done. And yeah, if we could build bigger destroyers, we should be building bigger destroyers. Prime Minister floats the idea of a gunnery competition. Uh, I think that's an excellent idea. And the Sebeline uh, wins. Okay, so design ship, new destroyer of 600 tons. And we can get more torpedoes on them now. That's always a good thing. So now we can get four. And actually, that design seems perfectly fine. Doesn't need anything else. That's a good name for a fucking destroyer. Eliminator. The Eliminator class. Who cares if a ship has a narrow belt if it doesn't have a belt? Oh, I forgot I was building submarines. <laughs> Completely forgot about that. Uh, Naval Committee that I wants to look at, at the design for the Deliminator. Um, actually, that's fine. It's only going to delay it a month. And we're not in a critical scenario right now. Regional war. Uh, when, when does a regional war not seem imminent in this time and place? Strong arm industry. Let's do it. All right. And we're going to build a dozen Eliminators. All right, we'll put out 12 of those. Cool, 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 cool. <laughs> the world's economy is recovering. Close to mastering main battery wing turrets. If we master wing main battery wing turrets, we can build a dreadnought. Of caliber larger than 10 inches. Okay. It's another one of those uh, <laughs> out-of-order thingies. 
I think technically it is possible for things like this to happen naturally where you like get lucky and get a head-on tech, but it still feels weird that if you get lucky and get a head-on tech, you then still have to go backwards and get the tech behind you. Like, I figured out how to build a, a, a 600 ton destroyer. Pretty sure that 500 tons came with that. Mechanic for world wars in this game? Uh, I, I mean, they can grow and uh, wars can get larger and larger that just have the majority of the big nations of the world fighting. Uh, I have fought si uh, three on three for six of the nations in the game um, fighting against each other before. All right, so we need to design a dreadnought because we can do that now. Okay, I can go up to 21,000 tons. I think short range is fine, but low freeboard is a recipe for disaster. I think there's gonna have to be some concessions on this design though. There's actually a World War event. I've never actually seen that before. Uh, accommodations are crowned, we'll try to fix that. Uh, the secondary guns, will that'll save a lot of weight. I never put a lot of extra armor on the secondaries. I will try to fit, fit that in. Okay, that's actually a pretty good design. I'm going to take these sixes down to fives. Uh, does anyone have quality zero uh, to two 12-inch guns you can build in? No, well, there's, there's, I don't think there's are, there are any plus two quality guns. I think it's negative two on some calibers, and it goes up to positive one on all of them. Um, but I've got everything I want here, so I'm going to build this here. Also, uh, I've not seen Surprise Attack yet in my Japan game. Legit has it, uh, is the, legend has it they exist. Small guns could be plus two. Plus two on small guns, okay. So they, they oh, actually, do we have that in the files here? Uh, in the in the gun data. I wonder if that that's got to be in the in here somewhere, right? I don't know where the gun data is off the top of my head, though. It's not the ordnance table. Caliber, no. I know there's one. There's one of these data files that has it all in there. I just don't remember where it is. That's a uh, penetration table. I can look for it later. Might be under the IDs. Might be in here. Oh, no, I don't think it's in here. Hmm. If I can find it really quickly. Whore pen! That's gun position names. That's not important. Okay, let's see here. Uh, central firing, three. Load her up with five. Oh, uh, maybe not that many. All right, 18 fives. Uh, that should be legal. Yeah, that's all legal. Uh, I'm going to take off the tertiaries and see if we can get another... Yeah, okay, we can get 20. It's a trap! AA cruisers with 5-inch dual-purpose plus 2 autoloaders are no fly zone. In my experience, the AA in the game is still pretty anemic. I have... I I, I wish the AA was, was deadlier in this game, because I still feel like it's pretty anemic. Alright, that's pretty good. Uh, let's pick a name. New Cray. New K. New K. There we go. Just have my carriers hold two thirds fighters. Yeah, I'm usually at about 50% fighters. But I am, I did mod this game. Uh, the, the version of the game I'm running now is modded. 1% weight saving on armor. Um, so in theory, planes or land-based aircraft should not exist in my game right now. AA does before, but you have to really keep your AA up to I I disagree. Every single time AA pops, I always um 
uh, max it out because I'm, I'm so annoyed by my ships constantly getting uh, uh, fucked by airplanes. And I almost never see them shooting down everyone. Great success with AA cruisers. I, I have not had great success with AA cruisers. I've tried. I don't know what it is, but my AA always seems to be garbage. Uh, an uprising in China makes it necessary to send a force. Well, obviously a strong force. And 1% one, one weight saving on a hull. Fighters are the way I am. No, no, fighters. Your AA will, will never need to fire. I disagree with that, too. <laughs> Because the way the fighters work in the game uh, usually means somebody's not covered. Because the, the, the fighters don't just do, like, a radius. Uh, they do... Uh, they are attached to, like, a division, basically. And if enemy bombers fly past them, it's not like they will break off to go get them unless they are going at that specific division. Uh, and the Russians want to sell me low-quality 13-inch guns, which, of course, I will buy. One other 1% one, 1 weight saving. We might actually be able to save a significant amount of weight. A few hundred tons. By doing a quick re, uh, redesign. Let's look. A little bit. Also, I just noticed I had uh, a one inch on the deck extended, which is pretty useless. So we can save that weight. And we can put it into more 5 inch guns. And some more ammo. Yeah, I think that's good. We get one. Yeah, perfect. All right, it's only going to cost me four more months to redesign that. Colonial crisis with France. We have to safeguard our interests, obviously. Ooh, new torpedoes, too. Oh, shit, fuck. Uh, <laughs> mobilize the fleet, please. <laughs> Uh, where does France have their... Okay, France has colonies out the wazoo here. Let's put some intel down there and see if we can find out what's what. They don't have anything up here. It's all, all down this way. Woo! Also, my budget is high for my uh, actual economy. Ambassador from Great Britain has approached the military. The Navy was suggesting that would curb our naval... No! No. We're not curbing shit. Control tops, wonderful. Ooh, we got a bunch, we got money to spend. But we, it's gonna go into this design study. 1% weight saving on turrets. Okay, the French, the French got a little less pissy. Uh, uprising in China. Okay, send a battleship. Oh, fucking hell. We're building four of these, by the way. Woo, yeesh, yeesh. Uh, mother of God. So, I guess what we'll do is I'm going to grab the rum lines. Uh, the eliminators. Oh, they, they are not worked up yet. Um, fuck it. I mean, you're, you don't need to survive. Um, and all right, well, let's grab all these and move them to Southeast Asia to Southeast Asia. And then here, go to my division editor and just grab the first battle division and move that to Southeast Asia. Great Britain and Spain. Well, I'm allied with Spain, too. So now we have ships stationed in South uh, Southeast Asia. Germany is hosting a regatta. Go for the win! Japan and France are in a state of war. Yes! Surprise attack! 11 destroyers unable to take place. Fuck. Um, but at least they made it in there. Uh, the French don't have much over here. It said three armored cruisers, but it's something. Whoa, 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 you're going the right way.
Come on. <laughs> okay, oh, okay, 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 okay. Eliminator, get in here. Eliminator, oh, already launching torpedoes. I like the cut of your jib, friend. War! We're going to war! All right, so, okay, that one already exploded. All right, you launched all of your torpedoes already. And that one's taking a hit now. Uh, I am going to try to torpedo a destroyer. Did that go off? Yes, it did. It missed. It's a trap. Well, for them it is. Okay, you're done. Oh, shit! That was a spread and a half. Hey, so sometimes torpedo nets really get in the way. Not this time. Who wasn't somebody saying surprise attacks like never happened in their game? Wow! It's 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 finicky though because you have to have the right ships active in the right area that is is a valid target. So like that's why I mobilized the fleet and moved a bunch of destroyers down here. Because otherwise, I wouldn't have had any destroyers within range of a French base. And then nothing would have happened. These guys look thick. Eh, 11,000 tons. Alright, let's try to torpedo that destroyer again. Hey oh, there we go. And then we'll try to torpedo this guy again, because let, let's even out the damage. There we go. And let's see, what is it? Are you big? Ah, 11,000 tons. You're not small. Also, that was a... I don't know what... That torpedo seems to have uh, been registered as a hit for some reason? It said there was three French armored cruisers here. So I think this was everything. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you? And how the fuck did we not see you before? Ah, balls. Uh, I don't got anything. I don't got anything else left. I ran out of torpedoes. So I guess just go in there and shoot who's ever there? With my big boys? Oh. Uh. Okay, there was a shit. I mean, all right. Maybe, maybe it was the transport. Because there's nobody in there. All right, I don't know what you are, but you're dead. All right, uh, so I lost a sub. They lost three armored cruisers, a destroyer, a corvette, and a transport. So that was 11,000 tons. That one went down, that was the one that went down with one torpedo hit and blew up. Eliminator, got her. This one took four torpedoes, that was 11,000 tons. Uh, this one took six torpedoes. That was 11,000 tons. Then that destroyer went down, and then that transport, yeah, got sh sh fucked in the face. And then my poor... Oh, sh Killed herself! Four thousand victory points for my surprise attack. That was wonderful. Okay, so... You know what's funny? The Spanish should join this war with me, and they're probably much more likely to get into a tussle with the French than me. Uh, okay, 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 okay. So, let's... Grab the rest of the Eliminator. Oh, they're already in Southeast Asia. Um... Let's grab the light cruisers that got... Let's grab the light cruisers that got rebuilt and the Varkours. And we'll move them as well to Southeast Asia. There we go. 
Uh, I think I don't know if I'm gonna. No, I'm I'm not gonna be able to invade. I don't have the range for that. It was Hong Kong could have done it. Oh, trade production. Let's go one, two, three, four, five, six. Move those to Southeast Asia, and put them all on trade production. Although I don't know if it matters what area they're in when they're on trade production. Hockey move ships M for move. Nice, free 243 victory points. <laughs> Ally Spain sends a message that are not. Okay, that's fair. I kind of. Okay. Um, give them some time. That's fair. Now, I assume a, a big ass French fleet will come here eventually. French decline. Uh, outbreak of disease. Yeah, I did. I. <laughs> In all fairness, I never expected anybody, um... Spain joins the war against France. Wonderful. I never expected any of any of those destroyers to survive for very long. Uh, let's build up the naval base on... Well, I don't know if I can afford that right now. Now, we're putting everything into four dreadnoughts. So, no, that's not happening. Oh, no, 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 bad for dreadnought. I wish I had cross-deck fire. Doesn't have cross-deck fire, so not super efficient, but it's not that bad. A French destroyer has been forced to seek a turbine in a neutral port. Uh, between the French and the Spanish, the French lost a battleship and a couple destroyers. Fucking A, Spain. Ooh. Wait, let's rename the new guys. Um, one, two, three. Lucky. And dirty, dirty. <laughs> hey, ho, hey, ho. Uh, temporary setback, figuring out torpedo protection one, unfortunately. But now I'm just about breaking even. Uh, and I think I would like to build up the naval bases here. Oh my God, three years. Jesus Christ, that's expensive. I can afford it, and we do need to do it. <laughs> Someone. <laughs> I'm in danger. Oh, uh, we're the Spanish. Oh, they're all up here. Okay, cool. All right, we knew they were coming, though. Ho, 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 boy. Uh, we just stole really good 12-inch guns. Well, really good as in right in the middle. They don't suck from the French. That's awesome, though. I spies got that. Enemy fleet. Yeah, no, that's fair. They're here now. All right, they have arrived. Um, Means any of the ones that are up here already have. Okay, these already had good guns. Like, these guys can have their guns redone. That's going to be sick. Do I want to take them out for six months, though? I don't think so. Not in the middle of the war. Alrighty. Well, I think it might behoove me to um, put these guys in a division. Oh, this one already has three ships in it. So let's, uh... I'm looking forward to seeing these in, ac in action. Uh, division editor, new division, uh, CA. Okay, and then we'll grab all of these. I would like them to put, be in a... Together. Boom. Why did you not put the Ashi uh, in a ship? In a, uh, Ashi ship not. Why did you put the Ashi ship not in a division? Uh, they are in a division. Uh, we split them up though. I don't know why this one didn't move with the other ones. Oh, right, 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 right. It was because we selected six ships and there only was five, so it left the top one out. So two of them are in a division together with a couple other ships. 
No, total victory. What? Well, not happy about that. All right, these guys need to move to Northeast Asia. Uh, reserve the fleet. Fucking British. The Victor Hugo. Nothing special about you, Victor. Well, the first battleship is out, the Alabama. The U.S. almost always gets the first battleship out, so that's not a surprise. I am very close behind them, though. Actually, let's take a look at the Almanac. So, BBs. Yeah. Um, Germany, I'm building four, Germany's building two, the British are building four, Russia's building five. So, I'm not, hey, I'm not backwards anymore. I'm behind. So I think what we're going to have to do is just wait for these guys to finish up um, or a budget increase before we can really do anything. Because I don't... Uh, Post-war slow... Ah, fuck. Post-war my ass. Well, think of it this way. I did get to uh, uh, pop a really fun uh, surprise attack on the fucking French. That was fun. Tanganyika's independent now. Upheaval in Iceland. The British are set. Okay, I don't care about what. I they can have it. All right, British Iceland is now a thing. Way to modern nations. Yes, there are. Uh, there's a fair bit of people who do that. Uh, so I think there are all are already some modern nations. Spain wants to expand. Extend. Yes. Three centerline turrets are available now. Uh, one of our cruisers ran aground. Demand they release my ship because that'll increase the world tension. I barely touched my budget, though. Upheaval in Rhodes and Italy is sending a force. Not my monkeys, not my circus. Uh, the commander of the Unebi is presenting a suggestion for a new gunnery training program. Um, current training schedule was devised by experts, including me. It is enough while well, one uh, should not get old ways. We try it. Yeah, let's try it out. Our best brains are hard at work studying fascinating challenges of torpedo protection one. <laughs> We're still failing. Hawkish cover. Yes, excellent. Yes. Raise it up. And another new torpedo technology. So we've been getting, keeping up on torpedoes. Now we're breaking even. Government is concerned about tensions leading to war. Uh, if you want peace, prepare for war. Give me more money. Yeah, 207. Nice. Okay, now we can think about um, going through some of our ships and doing and doing some changes. So let's see. Let's look at what we got here. Uh, the ones with the 10-inch guns, I'm thinking, which are these ones, might be worth getting rid of. Just because they're fairly undergunned considering what we got now. The girls are... Oh my god, it's past 8 o'clock. Sorry, I didn't even realize... I thought it was like 7.30. Anyway, guys, I'm out of time on the day. Uh, so I will be back tomorrow for more Rule the Waves. Uh, and to continue this run of Japan, which has been going, other than the fact that we got in another one of those really brief wars, uh, but I blame the British for that one. It's been going okay. And so we'll need to get another probably one stream in. So tomorrow we'll probably figure out if the mods I put into aircraft uh, are working or not. But anyway, thanks for watching, friends, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>
Shit him those leg on no ball. Oh, 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 o